I had my microphone muted. That was bad. That was bad, right? That was bad that I had my microphone muted. That could have gone. That could have gone. Fucking down south real quick. <laughs> Good thing I caught that, right? I literally looked at the. I looked at the stream and I was like, "How come?" I was like, "I don't have the. I don't have the stream muted. How come my microphone isn't? Where's the audio levels?" And I look at the microphone in front of me. I'm like, "Oh." That's why. It's muted. What the fuck? <laughs> that would've been real bad real quick. Would've been a bad time for everybody. Everybody involved. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so. Hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything that lies within between. To more. Persona 4 Golden. We last left off, we did a bunch of story, a bunch of bullshit, right? To the point where that was pretty much the whole entire stream, which I honestly didn't think that would happen. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I did. What the hell? What the fuck is on my TV? <laughs> I have like YouTube videos playing in the background and then there's an ad on my TV and it's just a fucking bunch of dudes in like a fucking dark ass room staring at each other through walls and shit what the fuck YouTube and why is the ad three minutes long get out of here what are you doing what the fuck <laughs> what <laughs> okay way to ruin my intro fucking YouTube you piece of shit um yeah so we last left off with Persona 4, right? Um, we did a bunch of story. Started the stream up. Started the stream late, mainly because I think I was, oh, I was, uh, I was cooking food for the family, right? So, uh, if you want to see that food, that's posted up on Twitter. Took a picture of that because for some reason people like seeing that. So I was like, fuck it, why not do that? And yeah, we started the stream late before. And also, also viewed the cutscenes that we kind of saw already. But I was like, ah, fuck it, why not? Nice little refresher. Didn't expect that to be like 40 minutes of the stream, right? That that was a little crazy. Um, tonight we're starting late because my alarm didn't go off. Fucking piece of shit. I hate phone alarms. I hate them so much. They work when they want to, and then they, and then they just don't. They just don't, you know. And um, good thing I have an internal clock in my brain, right? course it's a little late but eh, only off by like 20 minutes right so let's see we have found out that Adachi is the culprit and we need to go stop that guy we need to go stop that bad boy we can't let him be running around that's that's a bad thing if we do that so let's go do that right Hello? Hey senpai, it's Rize. Let's go inside the TV tomorrow. I know you're anxious about it. Let's do it. Wait, is there... Can I not like... Can I not like tutor somebody tonight? Tutor somebody. Tutor, uh, what's his name? Shu? That's the name your parents give you when they're sneakerheads. What do you name your son? Oh, the things that I love so much. Shu. I named my child Yeezys. Hospital janitor. Oh, okay, well, I mean, I guess I'm taking my ass to bed then. I'm not gonna hang out the, at the hospital. There's really no reason for me to do that. All right. Go to sleep? Yeah. Tomorrow we gotta do some crazy shit. Class of Indifer today. It is possible that the fog will sur uh, will shroud the entire world by the end of the year. Regardless, you must defeat the one behind all of this before. Before then, you know. All right. Well, Yosuke, let's go. Let's go head out. We're almost out of time. Let's go today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go right now. All right. We got this, Yosuke. 
Is everyone here? Yes, yes, we are here. Into the TV. Let's be sure to solve this today. What the fuck was that, Naoto? Why, why are you speaking like a superhero? What was that for? Let's be sure to solve this today. Naoto, away. Let's catch Adachi Baby as soon as we can. Ready, Sensei? Oh, uh, I'll be giving you directions today. Alright, let's catch Adachi Baby. Oh. Is there no... Huh. I thought there was like a scene that plays before this. Oh, well if that's the case, then fucking... Then I'm on the wrong save file. <laughs> this is the save file I use to, uh... To grind up so we can fight Adachi with no problems. We're all level 70! Besides Rize, she's level 80. And me, I'm almost level 80, but that that's beside the point. Here's what we're, uh... Here's what we're rocking, right? Oh shit, you have no fucking... SP, what happened? Let's see... Who the fuck am I taking with me? I think I got it planned out, right? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I think I got it planned out. I fucking love, I fucking love this song. <laughs> Backside of the TV. What is, uh, my Persona's 73. Oh. Alright, let's see. Compendium. It'd be nice to have a better Persona, right? Ooh, we can make Loki. That's crazy. What persona shall I make? You know what? I'm not gonna do it through search. I'm gonna do it this way. Let's see what we got. Oh, we can make Seth. Weak to electricity. Hmm. Repels electricity. Not Zeodyne. Automataru. That's pretty good. It's Star, too, so we get. We get the full, full buff. My counter. Oh, that might be cool, actually. It'd be nice if I got, like, something that was, like, around. Something that's, like, about to be level 80 or something. Uh, 66, 70. 69. Hey, 69. That's nice. Got a 66, Hellbiker. Hmm. It's weak to light, though. And that's... I mean... Doesn't seem like a problem until it is. <laughs> right? Weak to wind. Do I want that right now? Nullifies darkness. Alright. Shit, let's do it by search. Maybe I can find something that's a little bit tougher. Maybe. <laughs> Hermit. Weak to fire and weak to ice. Jesus, fuck. Why would I want that? Um, check that persona already. Uh, I may need to just. Oh, hold up, Mikael. Weak to wind, nullify against two things, Vapor Blade, 
Megidola Hamon. I'll think about it. Is that it, really? Damn. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh, let's fuse, whatchamacallit, Mikael, real quick, and see what I can make if I take that and, uh, use it with something else. Where the fuck? Am I, am I bugging out? Where the hell is that goddamn persona? I just saw it. Judgment. There we go. Yeah, so we're using these guys. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to give you. Uh. You're weak to darkness, right? Oh no. Alright, well then, it's not important. Mahamon. Gigantic fish. Uh. Not Dairahan, really. Medium physical. Makarakon. I mean, the rest doesn't really matter, honestly. Don't fuck it up, Igor. I'll kill you if you do. I'll hop over that fucking table and break your nose. Mikael, my life mission is to keep you safe. The Judgment Social Link will empower him. We get Maggie Dolan. That's nice. Repel Dark, which is not really necessary. Alright. Take that guy. And let's see what you and Harati make. You make Horus! Oh, shit. Weak against fire, though. Alright, well... Let's make something else, then. Hmm. You know what? I will make Seth. I will make Seth. Just to see... What the fuck I can get out of it. Uh, Maragion, why not? Why not? I look at Seth and I think of the fucking red eyes black dragon from like Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> the one that Joey Wheeler has. Windbreak. Alright. Now, what does that make? Oh, it makes that then. What the fuck? Then what does all three of you fuckers make? Ah, Ishtar! Now, I think I can work with that, right? Right, I can work with Ishtar. Eh, maybe. Try my luck one more time. Try my luck one more time. Let's get a... Let's get White Rider, and... Hmm. Let's make Raphael. Let's do that. You will learn Counter-Strike. Gotta weigh my options, right? Masuku Kaja, Amrita, Noel Dizzy, which is worthless in my eyes, Miyarahan, oh shit, I don't get that, god damn it. Alright. Now, what the fuck do you guys make? You make Hellbiker. 
Ishtar. And this is Thor. Why is everybody weak to win around here? God damn it. High counter, Arms Master, Deathbound, and Zeodine. Huh. It's either that or what? Mirahan, Sarkaram, Moody. Oh, another one makes Ishtar up here, too. Get power charge with it. But I wouldn't need power charge, though. And this one just gives me more healing shit with it. I guess... I guess we're going with Ishtar, then, right? Yeah, I guess I'm going with Ishtar. What would you like to give Ishtar? Well, I do not want fucking... Uh, Mututi or whatever the fuck it's called. Muti. Muti? I don't know. Uh, let's see. First things first. I mean, come on, make it on. Mind charging it. Invigorate, that would be nice. Um... Agidine, maybe? No, no, not Agidine. I'm trying to think. Cover my bases here. Uh, honestly, yeah, maybe Agidine. Maybe? Paradine? I'll go Agi. I'll go with Agi. Don't fuck it up, Igor, because I will. I will find you. <laughs> I am Ishtar. I will lend you what power I can offer. Yes, ma'am. Got my Zeodine. I do not want Emrita. But Emrita, I guess, is uh, better than that, so. Oh, give me Spellmaster, please. Yeah! Goodbye, Emrita. Absorb win. That'll be nice to have. Alright. We're gonna be running around with Ishtar. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <coughs> Alright, so, for our team that we're gonna have, I'm taking Yosuke with me. He's my buddy, man. He's been with us the whole entire time, right? Gotta solve this case, right? Next one, taking Teddy. We made a promise to him. We gotta save the world, right? Make his home nice and beautiful again. And then the last one I'm taking with me is actually gonna be Naoto. Naoto has been following this case since the beginning, albeit away from us, but, you know, Naoto's putting in a lot of work. So that's our team. That's what we're going with. Uh. Yosuke Pierce? Damn it. Do I got something like a snuff soul that I can give you? No. Alright, well. You're lucky I'm rich, Yosuke. Uh, shut up, Chie. Stop talking to me. Wait. Let me go back to the entrance, Rize. How the fuck? There we go. <laughs> Hello. 
Hey, Chewing Soul, thank you. I would like healing, please. Nice. Sorry, had to listen to the goddamn song. All right, let's go grab his ass. Gucci game or a Gucci game for you? Actually, no. Scratch that. What the fuck? He didn't say the first one. Oh shit! The hell is that about? All right. <clears throat> I told you to come after me. You actually came. Did you guys have anything better to do? What about your losers? Let's find the culprit ourselves. Let's make. Let's meet up at the special headquarters today. Am I right? Or am I right? Man, it's embarrassing. How old are you guys? <laughs> oh crap! My stomach's hurting. Come on. You're all students, right? Shouldn't you be studying instead of wasting your time with this? Study hard. Get into a good college. Work at a respectable company. Marry a cute girl. Why are you guys so desperate when it comes to something so useless? Won't you regret it once you're adults? What's up with this guy? Out of all the things we dealt with in this world, he pisses me off the most. We're not letting him get away. Ain't that true, Rize? Alright. Here it- oh. We're wearing butler shit. <laughs> I forgot, yeah. Listen, when you're grinding for hours on end, right? In Persona, you gotta entertain yourself sometimes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Jesus. Alright, you. Switch your shit back on. Uh, I like running around with the default stuff. Oh, wait. Just do that. Alright, that and, um, <clears throat> I gotta switch around our fucking, what you call it? Our accessories. So you, you're going back to having, um, was it the bead ring? Yeah, the bead ring. You're going back to having that. Yosuke, Gilval, you're keeping that. Chie, you're not on the team. Where the fuck is Teddy? Teddy Volt Suppressor. Hmm. Where is, um, you know what? Keep Volt Suppressor, Teddy. Fuck it. And Naoto, I'm going to give you the chopper ring, which... Which halves your magic. So, that's pretty good. Has the cost of your magic, anyways. Make sure you pick that chakra ring up by uh, heading back to heaven and beating that little optional boss when you head back to the top. Because that's how you get that little bad boy. And you want it. Especially on Alto. Oh, you son of a bitch. Already? We're doing this already? Come on! How dare you taunt me like so? How dare you? I don't even need to fight. God damn it. Don't let it get away. It stopped and it, it stopped and it fucking closed lined. I mean, that's great. That's amazing. Alright. Mega Dolan. It's re experience. Why wouldn't I? You fucking serious? What the hell happened? <coughs> oh my god, why are we missing? What's going on? Don't lower your guard now. Let's go. Just how my life goes by. I know it's a bad for bad for her. Cause there ain't no other way. What the fuck is going on? Alright. Okay. Alright. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's not even worth it anymore. <laughs> it's not even worth it anymore. Everyone's missing. What happened? Go for it. Persona. What the fuck? Like, I get it using Masuku Kaja. Like this turn, but even before then, everybody was just missing. Missing left and right, like it was no one's business. Huh? More enemies? 
two to be exact. I feel like you're weak against physical. That may not be right, but you might be. Nope, you resisted actually. Alright, cool. Magara died. Someone else's turn. Hmm, now what could you be weak? Light will work on it. Oh, that's no problem then. Send it to the heavens. Well now, Tokun. Hmm, now of course what you block you it. Weak? It's weak to darkness. Of course you block it. Of course you want to be fucking difficult. I'm not sure if my microphone picked it up, but uh, someone definitely just dropped something super heavy in my house. They always do that for some reason. I don't know why. It's like they just, it's like, it's like they set up an elaborate scheme like fucking mousetrap or some shit. And then the moment I start streaming, they just set it to go. So that some, at some random point in my stream, there's just a loud banging noise. <laughs> hmm, huh? Oh, where are we? Sorry, give me a sec. <gasps> Senpai, I can't find an exit. I mean, I mean, I always find the exit for you, Rize, so it really doesn't make a difference. Oh no, what should we do? See, I told you, students should go home and study. Why can't you listen to me? You'll never become a well-behaved member of society if you keep this up. Oh well, have fun in there. Alright. Dachi's up to his old trickery. His old trickery? Yeah, I guess, maybe. Would it be considered old? Since we just found out about it? Alright. So what we gotta do is jump down this hole. There's a hole in the ground. But before we do that, we have to run over here. I think, and there's like a, an exit that's sealed off or whatever. Not over there. Is it over here? Oh shit. Guess it's further this way. Oh, here it is. It's sealed by some strong force. <laughs> That's right. As you've guessed, I'm waiting for you just beyond here. But didn't you really think I'd just let you through? No. There has to be a way to open this. Look around for clues, senpai. Don't worry, Rize. I got this. So what we want to do, we want to head down the hall. Into the boys' hole. This place. Oh, you were able to escape. Not bad, not bad. You guys are better than you look. This place seems different from where we were before. It feels like Adachi has complete control over the area. I mean, he didn't. Bef did he before? <laughs> what, what, what is that supposed to mean, Riza? Just like that door we couldn't open. I have a feeling this won't go easily. Be careful, senpai. Adachi's dungeon isn't really that bad, honestly. There's only like one part where I can think of that's kind of a pain in the ass, maybe. And it's like one of the um, <clears throat> it's like one of the floors you can't you can't get into any fights, or he'll send you or kick you out, <laughs> kick you out of the dungeon. He's like, "Fuck you, do it over again." Well, you guys never give up. What are you trying to accomplish, putting yourselves in danger like that? You're trying to see justice done? Is that really justice, though? Or is it just ice? You think about it. <laughs> Aren't you doing this because you want a little spice in your boring lives? Damn! He's really sussing you out, Yosuke. Called you out on your bullshit. What's the difference between <laughs> between that of a criminal who gets his, uh, who gets kicked by murdering people? Wait, what? What's the difference between that and a criminal who gets his kicks by murdering people? You see what I'm getting at? There's still a lot a lot of time left. Give some thought. To be honest, I can't completely deny what he says. But that doesn't justify what he did. Right, Senpai? Of course not. He killed two people. And then mastermind a whole bunch of rigmarole. Dachi's a bad dude. It's a bad banana in the bunch. Oh my god, is that literally just the exit right there? Alright, cool. Whatever. Whatever. 
<laughs> oh, you're still here? This place is surprisingly boring. You know, you know what? Why don't we play a game to pass the time? Let's see. How about this? You can't encounter the shadows here. Try to reach me without the shadows catching you. Ready, set, go. What the? Ah, he gets on my nerves. I'll never forgive him for this. So he actually means that that's not an idle threat. Do not run into any shadows here, because he will kick you out of this fucking dungeon. Luckily, the shadows are placed so that, you know, you can easily avoid them if you just look at your map. Um, guess I'm heading this way, right? And then up. No, not up. I think I go around over here, yeah? This way. And then we go up. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> well, I'm surprised you made it this far. As a reward, I'll fight you. Continue through. Hell yeah. I'm lying, of course. Like I ever do something like that. The only thing you deserve to fight... <laughs> Wait, what? The only thing you deserve is to fight against shadows. I had a stroke reading that. I don't know what happened. I lost my mind. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. So this mini boss is a little, eh, not hard, but might be annoying. Your goal here is they're gonna keep summoning their buddies. I think a total of four or maybe five might show up. Maybe it's just three, I'm not sure. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you kill all of them at the same time, because if you don't, well, maybe not, not at the same time, but within the same turn. Because if you don't, then it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be a pain in the ass later. Some thick skin. Mind charge it. What more of them? Gee. Um. Eh. Come on, Buffy, dying. Maybe you don't want you to take care of this. Oh shit, that's not good. Alright. As long as Naoto gets my follow-up, we should be okay, right? I think so. There we go. Just the result I expected. Nice job, Naoto. I believed in you. Huh? You're better than I thought. How long can you keep it up? Hmm. Like that had any chance of stopping us. Let's go, senpai. Alright. Have you even thought about the truth you all want so bad? Who really wants it, huh? Isn't it just you guys? What good is the truth if you're the only ones who's satisfied by it? See, you just want to satisfy yourselves. I'm not sure what he's getting at, but the murder victims won't be able to rest in peace like this. Isn't that right, senpai? I mean... Like... I'm not gonna say Adachi's right, but he does have kind of a little bit of a point. Especially when it's like, aren't you doing this to satisfy yourselves? Especially you, Yosuke. He's like, someone special to me died. It's like, she fucking hated you, dude. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it, Yosuke, right? You still want an Avenger, but at the same time, you know, it's not, it's not really, it's not really anyone's fault that she hates you. It's just the circumstances and shit. But, damn, it's just kind of weird, right? She's like, I fucking can't stand that guy. And then Yosuke is like, she's so special to me. And I'm Tommy's the serial killer. That's what society accepts as the truth. Everyone's fiercely latching onto it. 
Let's say you guys catch me and the truth is proven false. What do you think will happen then? You don't get it. It's simple. They'll simply latch on to that instead. Nothing about them or the world will change. That's the truth you're looking for. Gee, what a smart ass. What's with this guy? He can blabber about logic and try to dodge the truth all he wants, but what he's done can't be forgiven. We'll make him pay for his crimes. Let's go, senpai. Excuse me, coming on through. Uh oh, dead end. Wait, no. Damn it. I hesitated. <laughs> I was like, it's a dead end. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Will light work? Well, I mean, nothing will work now because they're throwing up a car con, so. <laughs> it's so puny. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Wait, I don't nullify electricity, do I? What does Ishtar nullify electricity? Okay, cool. So then, you know, just set it up. Don't worry, I got this one. Why not? Put in some work, girl. Jesus. Level up? Skill level up. I feel like it's gonna fuck something over though. On my character build. I'll just go with the car. Eh. Do I wanna? It's so tempting. No, it might change it. Yeah, no, fuck it. <laughs> I don't trust my level it. Has risen. Good job, Nato. I'm just finding the steps left and right through this bad boy, huh? Huh? A dead end? Hmm. Something in the center of this area. There's something in the center. It's chewy and gooey and delicious. The nice, cream-filled center. Mr. Owls. How many looks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Don't need to fight all these shadows, I can just dodge them. No problem. There's enough space for me to do that. I may have overleveled just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can you tell that I've done this multiple times before? The way I'm just dodging these shadows with ease? No fear? <laughs> this is a long fucking track. Uh oh. This way? Yep, follow me, follow me. There we go. A little bit too close for comfort there. Excuse me, my good sir. Thank you. And we made it. Something beyond here, senpai. Are you ready? Yes, I am. <gasps> it's the Eiffel Tower. This is it. If we beat this, it could do the trick. Let's go, senpai. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. And it has oh, Megidon. Move now, Tokun. You're on a roll. All right, we got this. Mind charging it. Yosuke... Eh, I mean, just Garudine, really. Your magic's already pretty strong. Someone else's turn. You're resisted to win! Go. God it damn it. That's not good. Uh... There we go. The Tarakadra. Oh, come on, please don't. Uh, 
Alright. Hit him with the big... Hit him with the big bang. Really? That's all it did? Oh, we are gonna be here for a while, huh? Um... How much will that do to you? I'll get it next time. Oh my god, I guess it resists all forms of magic and we just gotta beat it with our fist. Hey, not bad, Teddy. Keep it up. This one's actually putting up a bit of a fight. Shouldn't be too difficult, though. Damn, it's not going down. Exactly why we got Tempest Slash. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, well that scared me. That woke me up. Boost our defense, please. Hey, thank you, Rizek. Much appreciated. <laughs> Senpai, that was so cool. Someone else's turn. Yeah, this guy's doing big fucking damage. That's what I like to see. Don't get countered on. Someone there finish we go. this one off. Come on, dodge it. Dodge it. Good night now, Tokun. You're on a roll. Oh shit. <laughs> My bad. My finger slipped. <laughs> Pressed the wrong button. Someone else's turn. Alright, now tell you got this. There we go. Elimination complete. Congratulations. Oh, level 80. Nice. All right, I leveled up. I climbed the stairway to my Yes, the power's getting weaker. We might be able to pass through this place now. Let's go back, senpai. And that we shall. Uh, we can either take the long way or we can take the fun way. I'm taking the fun way. All right. I'm trying to remember which one is which. This is where we want to be, right? If I walk out and I'm back at the entrance, that's where I want to be, right? Yep. Alright, cool. We gotta head all the way back upstairs. Head back to that room with the big hole in the middle. And now we can... Now we can find our way to a dodgy. There we go. I think this is the Yeah, this is the room with the um with the hole in the middle. With the hole in the middle of little Italy. <laughs> in the middle of little Italy. <laughs> that lyric is stupid.
Oh, shit. Don't want to go that way. It's this way. Excuse me, little chateau buddy. Is it this way? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I got confused. Huh. I guess it is up here. Fuck. Did I really confuse myself that bad? I did. That I did. I did do that. Please open. We did it, senpai. It's open. Alright. Now we got him cornered. Let's get him. Let's get him. Sick him. Alright. And just like that, we made our way to a dodgies. Um... I was gonna check my items, but I don't know why. Actually, I'm gonna double check what Ishtar's rocking. Spellmaster, Mega Dolan, Mind Charge, Invigorate. I get my Zodan. Okay, cool. Adachi's just up ahead. This is it, Senpai. Proceed. Fuck yeah. It all comes down to this shit. Wow. I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. Allow me to, uh, settle it, Naoto. <laughs> you had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates! Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! Yeah, really. Fucking Adachi sitting here with his fucking logic. <laughs> like, he's like, oh man, that means I didn't kill him. You killed him. Like, what a fucking what a psycho, man. You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die. If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. God damn. <laughs> that hits hard. He said, you know why I fucking joined? So I can carry a gun. <laughs> I thought it would be fun too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could. And it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Either born with talent or money. I like money. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. 
the ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive, you piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see, you'll be faced with the boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, how many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> He's love how it changes. Goes like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening. You all saw shadows as mere monsters, monsters didn't you? you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way! People can't live alone. Sure about that now, Toe? I'll fucking... I'll prove, that, I'll prove that theory false. <laughs> if you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop, Stop trying to act, act all tough! tough. You guys, you guys can't even stand, stand on your own, own unless, unless you, you deny, deny everything, everything I said. Stupid teenagers, you have no idea what kind of shit I've been through. Favored by the world, my ass. I'm gonna say it flat out. You're just a worthless criminal. Here he comes. This will probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got. I hit him from the back, you hit him from the front. <laughs> All right, Adachi, the true mastermind. The world is about to change. Your existence won't belong there. I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague. I'll have to get rid of all of you. I wish we could get rid of you, but we'll make sure you pay for what you've done. Let's do it. If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this. Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! All right. I can't believe he's the one. That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! Gonna mind charge it. Buff the shit out of ourselves. Adachi will end up buffing himself too. He has Heat Riser, which will boost all of his attributes. 
He has that, Vapor Blade, Garudine, I think? I think he has Garudine, maybe. He also has Ghastly Whale and uh, Mudoon. Yeah, Mega Dolan. See how much that does at the gate. Eh. Might as well just use like Agudine and shit, right? But that's also because he's got his stats going on. Alright, Nato. Show me what the real damage is. 300? Alright. Teddy, you can go with the Bufudine. Watch out, Ted. Nice. And do I want to keep doing mine charge? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's not. I mean, I got. You know, fuck it. I have Spellmaster. So it doesn't cost me that much, so why not? Oh shit. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Come, Conteon. Boost my attack or something. Defense? I'll take it. Alright, there's really no reason to do Maggie Dolan and shit, honestly. Uh, Garudai. If I'm only getting like 300 out of it, it's no point. Might as well just have them do like Agudine and shit. There we go. Damn brats! Shut up and let me finish you off! Uh-oh. Oh shit, we all got hit by that. Rize? You wanna help out? No, don't get scared. I'm with you. Well, you're not with me because you're not helping me out. Come on. There we go. Don't wanna deal with that. Um Yeah, I buff all our attacks. Give us a boost, Yosuke. Let's go. And just to be sure. Boost it up, Teddy. with Agudine. There we go. Damn it! You're all such a pain in the ass! I'll kill you! Just like I did those other ones! Watch out! Uh, oh wait, that's not gonna hurt Nato. Nullifies it. You fucking idiot. 
Adachi, you dumb dumb. You stupid guy, you stupid dummy. Wanna give us a nice charge, Rise? Yeah, defense? Alright, I'll take it. So far, so good. Fucking Yosuke, come on, man. Come on, Yosuke. You're not supposed to be getting hit by that. Man, look at it. I want to point out. Here goes. Look at Nato's SP. <laughs> that shit has not moved. <laughs> Watch out, Ted. Oh shit. Fucking healthy, you got left, man. Just go down. And just like that, Adachi's done. Damn, this is lame. And you know what we say around here we don't fuck with lames. <laughs> oh, well, our world's gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> what? What the- Oh my god. It's a heartless. All humans will become shadows. And I shall descend upon the United World as the Master of Order. Descend? Order? What's with this guy all of a sudden? What's happening? Guys, this is an Adachi. It's someone completely different. Both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts. It will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I am Amino Sagiri. One who rules the fog, one awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well, stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog, oblivious of their reality. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? Because... Anime. I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this world. You're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow force born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, Humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then, this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? 
Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown, and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the hollow forest. Will you shut up already? We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over! It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. I know, Nato. I was like, how can it settle it? What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. Then... It came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? <laughs> we let ourselves be deluded. Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing! Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in? Or not? It must be tested. you want so far but that'll end when we crush you precisely then we know what we gotta do now i don't want people to turn into shadows we'll defeat it for sure i'll back you up with everything i've got this thing has no right to exist Damn, baby, them eyelashes are on point. Looking all fabulous and shit. Which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. It's huge. Let us begin. All right. So now we have the true culprit. Alright. Now, I'm no Seguri out here. I kind of... 
I don't know, depending on the depending on the day. Sometimes I have a good time with this boss. Other times, not so much. Motherfucker likes having too much health for my liking, you know? Damn it. You don't have to worry too much about God's judgment, mainly because that only halves the current HP that your party member is carrying. So you won't die from it unless you have like one HP, I think. Um, Yosuke Senpai, your health is really low. I can see that, Rize. Uh, where the fuck? Oh, there it is. You got this, Nato. Teddy, I'm gonna need you. You're playing support this time. Oof. That's okay, Teddy. It's fine. Rize, feel free to step in whenever you want, you know? Help me out a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about his health, not right now. Nice job, Nato. Alright, this might actually be a problem. Alright, cool. What you got for me, Rize? Defense increase? I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Put that back up. Make it all on. I'm actually a little scared this time around, so... Heal us up, Ted. Ooh! Man, you out here going after Teddy. Come on. I get he's the weakest one. But right, come on, you ain't gotta do him like that. I just realized, Ishtar's weak to win. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Let's just pray that he doesn't- that he- that he doesn't catch on, you know? This fight can go fucking downhill real fast. Oh shit. Please dodge it, please dodge it, please dodge! Teddy, are you okay? Someone heal him! That's the attack you really gotta watch out for. Yosuke Senpai's persona is sealed! Don't worry, it's fine. It's only Yosuke, right? Unseal yourself, Yosuke. Here's all ailments besides down. There you go. See, good as new. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. I can see that, Rize. You didn't think I noticed? You really hate Teddy. You really hating on Teddy. Like, for no reason. Like, you just want that bear to die. Oh shit, we're all charged up? Nice. Well then, don't mind if I do. Thanks, Rize.
I also want to point out something. Look at Naoto's SP. It went nowhere. It went nowhere this whole entire fight. This whole entire time. Come on, do like 500. Oh yeah. That felt good. Oh, come on! Can I check your stats real quick, Teddy? Okay, so your magic is better than your strength. Just double checking. Damn, Teddy, you are lucky that you block against that. Well, now you're going after Naoto, but that's not gonna work. Light and darkness attacks don't work on Naoto. No, no, no. No, sir. <laughs> All right, Tsukikaja, help us out here, Yosuke. Let's go. Attack reverted. Uh, not gonna worry about attack right now. Your health is looking a little iffy. Damn it! Hang in there. Woo, you're up. That fucking Time critical is gonna be the time. end of me. Shit. Attack reverted. Your defense is down. Rize, everyone's defense is down. It's kind of a problem, actually. Let's go. Feel free to pitch in when you want to. Yeah, Teddy is running out of magic, that's for sure. Here goes defense, Kyle. please. Please, defense. Defend me. SP? Alright. Your actions will draw many back into suffering and strife. Why will you not understand this? Bewildering fog. Alright, so Amano Sugiri is going to spend around two turns buffing himself up. Yosuke Senpai, your right. defense is down. So, what you want to do... I can see that, Rize. Thanks for telling me that. I have diamond shield, so I'm going to pop that bad boy. Yosuke is going to help us out here. Mind charge at Nato. And Teddy. Now Amano Sugiri can choose to use Takaj on us if he wants to or not and completely make that turn worthless. He might, he might not. All right, there you go. This turn you want to guard. He's about to pull some bullshit. Look at that! Damn it! That could have been a quick game over. Alright. Sorry, I'm a little confuzzled from that, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Made me lose my mind for a moment. Um, oh, now I know what I would do. Make it all on. I should have mind charged this turn, actually. But I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. Yosuke, do us all a favor. Help us out here, buddy. Come on, boost us up, Rute. Defense increase. Exactly what we needed. Um, Megadon. Teddy can heal us up. Everyone still has their, like, 
their uh, one hit point resistance thing left. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on, man. Unnecessary. Alright. We already have most of the cards going on for us, right? We should at least. Now Toe's SP remains unchanged. <laughs> just it's just up there. What you gonna do about it? Um how much is this? I need 30 for that, and that's gonna take about 12. Alright, so I, I should still have, yeah. 35. I got one more heal in the tank for Teddy. These fools, and I have no choice. I will bring about the deaths of those who would keep true peace from the world! Oh shit. Yeah. Yosuke Senpai! Oh man, oh man! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Alright, everybody get up. Start boosting yourselves again. Whoa, you're up! Time for a counterattack! Time for a counterattack, my ass. Actually, you know what? I'm a healer too. I'm a little scared. <laughs> You're gonna pay, damn it! Alright, Yosuke. Boost us up, bad boy. I also want to point out, this is like, we're fighting a god, and my man Yosuke out here said, fuck this. I only get to fight a god once, I'm gonna put my fucking headphones on and <laughs> start rocking out to some tunes. Like the only guy who just straight up go like, oh we're fighting a god? <laughs> put on my headphones. Like even the main character from P3 doesn't do that shit. Alright. Um, actually, you know what I want to do now? Oh, come on. Tell me I- come on, I gotta have one of- come on. Where is it? Oh, it's only for one person. Well, alright, well, if that's the case, then hello. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, wait, it's gonna miss. What's the point of me doing this? <laughs> it's gonna miss. Charge us up, Rize. It missed. Oh, I guess it, I guess she did charge us up. Huh. Who else needs a uh, magic mirror on them? Probably Teddy. Teddy has no more SP. Use this turn to give him a chewing soul. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Anything but miss, please. Alright, there we go. That's all I wanted. Nullify those stat changes. He's still charged up, which is the worst part about this. So... Ah, oh, damn, Yosuke's the only one that's gonna be getting hit by this shit. Oh, I thought that move counted as magic. I guess not. You son of a bitch, how dare you? How dare you do that to me? Damn it. Boost us back up, Yosuke. Oh, you already got mind charge in effect. All right, cool. Megadola. And Teddy, because our health is looking kind of iffy out here. Ooh, 
Look at that. Ah, oh, shit. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Do I look okay to you? Damn it. To one ally? That ally is gonna be me, baby. Heal my status, please. Please heal my status. Oh my god. Thank, thanks for nothing. For real. No, I mean it. I mean it. Thanks for absolutely nothing, Rize. Here's all ailments. Here you go. Can't be having that. No, no, sir. Dodge it. Damn it. Oh. Thanks, Rize. You're up. Time for a counter attack. Oh, you think so, Rize? You think so? Oh, already in effect? Well then. Oh, damn it. Taking the cautious You're route. Pay, damn it. This guy has no fucking magic left either. Here Ooh. You go. 400, nice. Oh, now you're just attacking. <laughs> now you're just attacking for the fuck of it. Alright. Almost there. Uh, did I? I'm just a little cautious here. I don't want him to pull some bullshit at the last second. We all still have the ability to withstand one hit. We're all still holding on to that. Of course, of course, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, uh-huh. Of course you do that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I needed that. Bring me back down to earth. Keep me humble. 94? Come, Come on, man. <laughs> Thank you, Rize. Shit. Oh, shit. 643. Alright. And Omnos Giri is down. Don't have to deal with this bullshit no more. If only I had Hasso Toby. Would've went... Would've went... By way smoother, you know? I see. Your powers are strong. Power comes from the heart. You have proven to me human potential. Very well. I will lift the fog from the place where you will return to. Mankind's desires are my desires. Oh shit. Thanks, Sushi. Nice to see you again. Thank you for the raid. If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. I am always at your side. Sushi, Watch. by the way, I haven't had the time to do it, but uh when I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you up as like auto host. Well don't wait up! We'll keep that from happening no matter what! Time will show the path humanity takes. Children of the new potential. Goodbye, Mr. I. 
my back fucking hurts. <laughs> That's all I can think about right now. My back kind of bothers me a little bit. Adachi -san? That and I'm kind of hungry. Who can say? I believe it was at least partially his own intention as well. So that's it, huh? You know what, Adachi? It is what it is. <clears throat> hmm. Don't worry, Adachi. We'll see you in Ultimax. We'll see Fine. you. Live however you want. If you think you have the power to change the future, then go right ahead. Everyone has the power to do that. <laughs> Such a cool fight. Nice job. I fucking hate the Amino Sigiri fight. It takes Get too long. Here. I think it. The shadows will. To me, at up. least, it takes the longest out of all the fights in the game. Just leave me be. And I mean all the you fights. Came to kill me in the first place, didn't you? I didn't come to kill you. Why would I do that? No, dumbass. If we leave you here dying. And a dead body eventually appears? Then what? What's that accomplished for anyone? Your stupid game's over. We're taking you back. I find it funny that Yosuke is the one to say that after he's like the first guy to go like, yo, we're throwing Namatame in the TV. We're doing this. Actually, that's a lie. He's not the first one. Naoto's the first one. Naoto's like, man, there's a TV in here. It'd be crazy if something happens. Live and face your punishment. That's how it works in our world. Right. I'm sure that's the outcome Dojima-san wishes for as well. Atachi's just convulsing the on the power, floor. But things turned out so differently for us. It's because I had my friends. My friends are my power. Okay, Sora, friends, calm down. Huh? <laughs> That's the last thing I want to hear about right now. But maybe if I had been more like you. You love a soda Adachi in the Ultimax. Probably your favorite character in the game. Fucking Adachi's cool as shit in that game. I'm trying to think, is I mean, do I like Adachi in that game because it's Adachi? Or is there someone, you know what, actually, if I really think about it, my two mains was fucking, um, Yosuke. Yosuke was my secondary, and, uh, Akihiko was my primary. But I want to learn, I want to learn how to play Junpei. It should be easier now, with the, uh, re-release for Junpei, at least. Now that we can all make sense out of his fucking baseball gauge. Listening for that fucking, that, that dinging sound when you hit somebody. Let's go back. Didn't that shit used to be like frame perfect? Also sad you didn't do a social link in your P4G run. Jesus. Oh my god. They fucked up the requirements for getting the true ending in P4 Gold, and I'll tell you that. You gotta hang out with Adachi and Marie. Greetings, Shirogane-san. We got word from Detective Dojima. Oh uh, yes, yeah, Shirogane-san. Nice to see you. He's wanted on suspicion of murdering Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, right? Correct. Understood. We have an ambulance waiting downstairs. Should we have them bring the stretcher up here? An ambulance? I love how no one questions that whenever someone goes missing, they're just like... They just show up in Junez. Everyone just kind of accepts it. Detective Dojima assumed one would be necessary. He wanted the suspect to be carefully taken into protective custody. It... Well, it was a personal favor to him. They were partners, after all. Then yes, please have them bring up the stretcher. Understood. When I think about it, I honestly think Adachi... Like, uh, it's a, a part of me wants to go like... How, how can Dojima, like, still be nice to Adachi when Nanako got in the line of fire, right? But at the same time, I honestly do feel like Adachi does feel bad for Nanako. <laughs> I think that's something where he kind of realized a little bit that he's like, Okay, maybe, maybe I might have gone too far. Or how no one sees them going into the TV ever. 
dude, forget that. F fucking remember the stupid logic of just hide our weapons under our clothes. It's like a sword half the size of my body. Like, at least now to make sense, she carries a gun around. <laughs> How the fuck is Kanji putting a whole ass chair under his clothing? I don't understand. Teddy's like the only one who can. Re Naoto and Teddy are like the only ones that can realistically get away with it. Maybe Chie too, and I guess Yukiko. She has like a fold-up fan. We did it. But Kanji in his fucking chair, <laughs> and your main character in a big ass sword. Actually, the only ones who wouldn't be able to get away with it is the main character and Kanji, because even Yosuke has like two small minds or whatever. It's just so bright. It's been so long since the sky was that blue. It's finally over. It's finally over. Thank you guys. We did it. It's finally over. Don't get all sappy. We did this together. But well, this means. We've won. The fuck are you doing, Yosuke? Huh? What are we doing? Exactly. Ooh, what's this? Everyone ready? Here goes! He got so sick of the number of times they say that in that game. It's finally over. The true culprit has been apprehended. It's over. Wow, guys, you really let Chie hang there, huh? Why didn't you guys say it? You all joined in when Risa-chan did it! Um, I think that was a little too hard to get on the spot. Which part did you mean for us to say? The woohoo part! Can we just do it over? Man, having to redo something like this kind of kills the fun of it. All right, Chie, do that weird call again. <laughs> Not if you're gonna call it weird. <laughs> Do your weird bird calls again, Chie. You fucking squealy ass boys. Um, people are beginning to stare. I don't think we should stay like this. You're actually writing a 100% social link guide for the game. Been working on it for like two years. Jesus. Please do, because fucking... <sighs> so... I've said it multiple times in this playthrough. In the background, I, do, I did like two playthroughs while doing this stream. One... Well, technically three, I guess. One was so that I can show off uh, Namatame and um, Adachi's, Adachi's like alternate endings. And then the other one was completely blind, uh, not completely blind, but in terms of like social link and stuff, completely by myself, just doing 100% social link. And I did it, but the problem was that I fucked up a little bit and I didn't manage to get all the final personas for the characters. So now I'm going through it again with the fucking social link guide and it almost fucked me up because they're like, by now you should have a dodge at rank six. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's on rank five. And then I had to improvise that. And for some reason they said fucking uh, invite Yumi out for uh, the festival. And I'm like, how can I do that when she's like rank two? That makes no sense. Um, my hand's getting kind of sweaty. Prinny's testing the guide on Steam. Okay. Sheesh. How Hi, many then? How many mods are in a? Uh, how many it's mods do we have yours, for fucking sensei. Persona 4? Because the only one that I know about is like the Yosuke romance thing. All right, we did our best. It's fine. It's finally over, guys. We did it. Woo! With everyone's help, you were finally able to lift the fog and closing the town. We did it, guys. Also using the Yosuke Romance mod? Um, I haven't used it yet, how good is it? Thou Tai Art Thou, that's established Jimmy Bon, Jimmy Bon. I completely like blanked out for a moment and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to read it. I didn't have enough time to do it. The Seekers of Truth Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Seekers of Truth Social Link. Your power to create Personas of the Judgment Arcana has reached its maximum. Yunarakami has forged a bond that cannot be broken on. By mastering the Judgment Social Link, you can now fuse Lucifer, the Rebel King of Hell. Dude, aren't you supposed to do this before you start something, not after it's over? Hey Yosuke, can you stop being a fucking buzzkill? Huh? Who cares? Let's see. Start at ranks, uh... 
you're at rank 7 with him so you haven't noticed any difference yet. So either it kicks in late or he messed up or something. <laughs> is it like, um, is it like Naoto Social Link where you gotta choose certain options? Guys, we did it. It's over. We did it. We did it. We saved the world. The one, uh, the one behind everything has withdrawn and the fog enclosing the town has been lifted. And... We're sending data. And it's Christmas! Listen, guys. I better see somebody pull a knife out in the chat. It's Christmas. Come on. So the case <laughs> is closed for reals this time. Who's your pick, right? I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. We can leave it all to the police. Thank you, Nato. Adachi has confessed his crimes. So I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. <laughs> Pulling knives out in the chat. Then that really wraps it up. What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? I really can't think of any other moment ever. Well, not ever, but like, since Persona 4, has there been any other moment where people just are willing to kill each other over waifus? Because P5 didn't have it, everybody fucking got around in a meeting and went like, Yes, mm -hmm, they are all created equal. Except for Oya, because she sucks. <laughs> you better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. Can't believe you actually got a knife. I won't Jesus. suddenly disappear like that again. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, alright? Yeah, Yosuke missed you a lot. He's gonna take care of you for the rest of his life. It's Dojima. Hey, it's me. Yes, I know that. Call her ID. Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. You were the one continuing the bloodshed because you actually liked Oya? Oh, yeah. oh my fucking god. Listen, I've never banned anybody in this chat before, but I think I might have. Uh, just gotta look at it a little bit. She's awake again, and she's got a good amount of strength back, too. How do you like Oya? Oh, yeah. I mean... I can't say how do you like oh yeah that's maybe a little too far but her confidant abilities are pretty mid pretty mid they're fucking garbage it's all based on if you get it's all based on honestly it's really based on if you're doing a new game plus or not and you just don't give a fuck but if you're still playing the game and like you're not getting caught by anything and you got like a shit ton of smoke screens on you you don't you don't need her she's worthless all goes well she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. That and she's a super alcoholic. <laughs> like, for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Like, to be honest, I think I had more fun hanging out with Lala-chan than I did with fucking, uh, with Oya. Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. You told everybody about Dojima's message. Chan's coming home? She's coming home, coming home. I'm so happy for her. Tell the world that she's coming home. Me too. I'm really glad. You all better be happy for Nanako. I would stab the each and every one of you if you weren't. over here because everyone tried so hard. And now Nanako-chan's gotten better. Nanako-chan tried hard too. Oh yes. Oh yes, confidant. Give us Lala, who's the ultimate wife of MP5. And I will die on that hill. Honestly, I wish I could hang out with Lala more. Lala's like cool. She, she's such an amazing girl. Lala's cool, and like the dance instructor from P4, from P4, um, for uh, Persona dancing all night, Persona 4 dancing all night. I like the fucking dancing instructor there too. They're both pretty cool, actually. Seriously, thank heavens she's okay. Where are you, Jesus? <laughs> Teddy said, "Let me just get a little, <laughs> just a little grab." Well, one thing's certain. Oh, Miss Ozimichi. Hmm. Uh, is that is that their name? MP4D. It's party time. I really don't remember, but I do remember them calling uh Inoue <laughs> like nicknames and shit. 
that and they were like, oh my god, look at Nanako dance. She's so beautiful. A party, you say? I'm sure Nana-chan will be delighted. We'll need a cake. Then. Oh no, I'm the um I'm talking about the uh yeah, the actual instructor, not not um not Konami's um manager. G guys, please say you're not gonna that dude's huh? fucking amazing. We're gonna make one. Of course we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. Hey, wait, wait a sec. Whoa there. Like the VIP the VIPs of the story of that game is that guy, uh, Dojima, and, and who else? Honestly, Rize, probably, yeah. That's way too tall in order for you. Dojima saves Let's that story, the by the way. Department. Like, the story was pretty lackluster, and then Dojima shows up, and you're like, "Oh shit, <laughs> Dojima!" Come on, Natto-kun, you too. B but I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we. Oh my fucking god, why do you sound so proud of that? I've never made a cake, neither have us. <laughs> what? So this is the fabled Kotatsu. I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. The Kotatsu has to be like a cultural thing, right? Because fucking, I can see no purpose of it. Just, just fucking wrap yourself in a cover. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. Nanako needs to go back for a full checkup early next year, but if they don't find anything P4D wrong, P4D is Dojima's redemption arc. He was uh, neglectfully posted in the game. But he really redeemed himself. Exactly. If I mean, I he's still cool in this sooner, game. If anything, I would say Ultimax is where is where he's just kind of there, right? And I mean, I get it, cause Ultimax, he, him and Nanako were originally supposed to be playable characters, but you know, Persona was like, "Nah, -uh, we can't have that shit." Man, I'm sorry you went through that, Nanako. I don't mind, since Big Bro and everyone came to rescue me. Sorry for the wait! Oh no. The Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Bring it on. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kanji said, listen, I'm wearing a bracelet. I got my insurance card. There's an EpiPen in here somewhere. I don't need it, but I got it. <sighs> it's a cake! Hey. This is bigger than I imagined. Wait, Nanako-chan! I'll be the first one to- Oh, damn, you brave girl. No! It's delicious! It tastes really good! Th that can't be. No. Has she lost all sense of taste? She's right. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. Did you guys really make this? Huh? <laughs> of course we did. Why'd you stutter, Chie? What was that about? Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! You know what they say about true talent not needing to show off. Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. Wait, Nanako and Igus has the same voice actor? Really? Oh shit. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't catch on to that. Holy shit. Oh what, in the Japanese version? I thought you meant in the, in the fucking uh... Is it in English or in Japanese? Oh wait, it's the English VA. It says it right there, I'm an idiot. Jesus, you know what? It's because I guess it's just, I don't know, I guess it's just so done well. Uh, done well. I guess is uh, her voice work is pretty good in P3. I like it. I wouldn't say best, like, mm, maybe. But, listen, Elizabeth exists, so I can't, like, come on. You can't, you can't argue. <laughs> you can't argue with that. Then again, this one was our third attempt. Third attempt? What the fuck? Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs! Three stars for sure! I impossible! This... 
actually tastes good. Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? Um, Nana-chan. She exists, but I she's have. immediately outdone by Theodore. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember much of Theodore. And I have played a P3P, right? And I remember hanging out with Theodore, but I, I just I don't remember much of him, right? I mean, Theodore, listen, it's because Theodore gets outweighed by Shinji, honestly. Like, come on. Oh, it looks just like you. I wish I could have made it look better. Shinji, best boy. But I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital. Oh, Nacha. come on. You can't hate Shinji. Come on. That man can cook. He can clean. He defends you. He even gives you ample time to get out the room. He's like, don't do this. I won't be able to hold back. <laughs> oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. And if we're going to talk about ugh to about someone, it's going to be fucking Ken. <laughs> Isn't that nice of him, Nanako? He was one of your main party members? I know exactly, right? Teddy fur. Uh -huh. Thank you, Teddy! I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story. But he's most likely going to pay for his crimes. Anyway, this was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true... Ken was cringe in P3, and absolutely a mistake. That is true. That is so true. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I still don't believe it. Like... Like, you know when people talk about, like, um, the teacher in P5, right? Uh, Kawakami. And they're like... And they talk about Kawakami and they also talk about Maruki. And they're like, now if it was a, you know, if you did a little role reversal there, right? People would lose their shit because it would be viewed as wrong. But they kind of, <laughs> but, but no one still fucking like, no one remembers Ken until you bring it up. Like people would constantly talk about if, if the guy was the teacher and the girl was the student, it would be crazy. But no one remembers Ken until you bring it up. <laughs> then they go, oh no, not Ken! God. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Bro, even even Ken's like, you sure about this? And she's like, nah, nah, it's all good. It's all good, I got this. <laughs> like, what? Like Nanako. She oh made a miraculous God. recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, Ken and P3, yeah. On the forest um, it's in Persona uh, Pixels. It's in Persona uh, Persona 3 Portable, which is the PSP version of Persona 3, where you can play as a female protagonist, right? <laughs> and he is a choice. There's an underside to everything Damn. that you can never see. Uh, the line making it worse, but yeah, it's fucking terrible. This case has made me think about a lot of things. And you know what's really bad about it? I know at some point I'm going to end up playing both P3 and, uh, you know, P3P and FES on stream. And just to show it off, I'm going to have to choose Ken because I'm going to have to make you all go through it because I had to go through it. <laughs> You've helped us out <laughs> so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. Like, that's literally if the main character from 3 started fucking dating Maiko or whatever the fuck her name is. It's like, come on, man. There's much time left until spring. But I hope I can do some catching up until then. Oh, thanks for the follow, Wandering. Thanks for the follow, Prinny. I appreciate it. That's right. Uh, but does it happen in normal P3? No. Spring, huh? The only reason it happens in P3P is because you're playing as a female. And they really have, like, no fucking male characters to choose from really it's like it's like your party members and then like what three other guys maybe all about Senpai, the persona content you're going Jesus. back it won't be the same without you man <laughs> sensei are you 
going somewhere? So can someone clear this up for me? Cause I'm not, I'm not sure if I remember this correctly. Is there an event in P3 where if you date multiple characters, right? Something happens to where like, I think I remember like Junpei, Kenji, and fucking someone else. I think it was, uh, what's his name? The guy that looks like Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. Fucking <laughs> Kazuya or some shit. Isn't there a scene where they're all foibling about because they're trying to make sure none of the girls find out that you're all dating them at the same time? Gotta keep my promise, Teddy. Yeah, that's always been the deal from the beginning. <laughs> but it's way too early to talk about that stuff. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. Hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, Dojima, I honestly don't think my parents back, care about huh? me. Because it's been a year and they haven't called not once. <laughs> wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. Uh, must have been a hot minute since you went through P3. Persona April event, when? What do you mean? There's an event happening? I didn't know about it. Call me Senpai anyways. Hmm. You see the Christmas costume from Dojima. It seems it was originally supposed to be used in the festival at the police station. Oh, for the Persona anniversary. Three events are left. Well, I mean... I don't expect them to announce any, like, Persona game. If it is, it's going to be, like, another spin-off or something. Yeah, probably PS5, uh, PS5, wow. PSR on Steam. I would like to see that. Yeah. So we can just mod the ever-living shit out of that. P3 remake? I, of course. <laughs> P6 at last event? Yeah, I mean, I, w I would think we see a P5 arena before we see, like, um, P6. Mainly because fucking, um... The guys at, uh, whatchamacallit, at, uh, Arc System Works, they've been trying to do that for years. Like, that's literally why they put out Cross Tag. They're like, guys, buy Cross Tag, because we want to make another fucking Persona game. And then now we got, you know, Persona. Persona Ultimax we released, which is awesome. And Rollback's coming. When's Rollback coming? Like, this month or next? Yo! Or something like that. Man, yesterday was great. We haven't had that much fun in a while. And there's no case to worry about anymore either. Let's just keep hanging out and have fun next year, okay? Oh, that reminds me. Did you see the weather forecast? It looks like it's gonna rain tonight. Worried about the Midnight Channel? Yeah, it's been on my mind too. Since we beat the Amano Sagiri thing, the case, should the case should really be closed, right? I'm just a little skeptical, so you wanna check the TV too if you got time. Even some, even some P5 DLC for Ultimax. I don't think they'll be able to do that in Ultimax. I think it would be too much of a... I think they would have to work around too many things to do that. I feel like if they, if they do that, they gotta just make it new, right? Alright, I understand that you're all excited about the vacation, but we're having the end of term assembly, assembly in the gym now. I'm so excited for winter break. I got this beautiful coat. All my adult charm is just going to come bursting out. Please, Kazuwagi, keep it all in. Well, enjoy your winter vacations. Everyone, don't get too cozy. Kashiwagi's not ugly. I just can't... She's not ugly, but god damn it. Oh, she creeps me out. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see. Welcome back. P4 Ultimax was at least 21 euros if you had P4, but now it's... Now it's a uh, 26. They made the discount less good. What on Steam? I bought it on PS4. Well, technically I bought it on PS4, but you know all that bullshit. On Steam. Okay. Yeah, I didn't buy it on Steam. I bought it on PS4. Is the Steam does the Steam version run good? I hope it does. So you're like, why make it cheap, please? Okay. It's not a thing about beauty, it's her attitude, exactly. Somebody get this woman a glass of water because she's thirsty as fuck. Steam version is amazing. Alright, just just want to make sure it's not like King of Fighters, right? 
It's been getting cold lately. You're not catching a cold or anything, right? It's not like the city here. You should wear another shirt over that. The weather report said it's going to snow tomorrow. If it snows, the veggies will catch cold. Nanako, the veggie's been dead for fucking months. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. It's okay. You don't have to worry. He's going to handle everything so the veggies don't get sick, right? Fuck you. I'm not doing that. They've been dead for months. Just every day. She's like, when the fuck are we going to harvest those veggies? Never. They're dead. <laughs> uh, wait to see if rollback messes anything else. Mm, I hope it doesn't. Hope it does. If anything, it might... Well, it won't mess up Junpei's thing anymore because he doesn't do frame-perfect shit no more, right? It's raining outside. Will something appear on TV? Hello. I just got off the phone with Chie. Have you checked your TV? Yes, I did. I'm looking at Nothing it right now. Came on, right? I mean, there was no glow or anything. Nothing, Yosuke. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the midnight channel's off the air? That means it's over, Yosuke. We I'm did being it. Serious here. It's finally now that over. We beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? Completely. That's right, Yosuke. It's <laughs> over. Awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to hound you for an answer. I just felt nervous. But it's finally sinking in. All of us together. We did it. Man, all these things are coming back to me. Like, yeah, they nerfed you pay at Shadow Mitsuru. I leader. fucking hate Shadow Mitsuru. Dude, the amount of times I. What the fuck? Hold up. Excuse me. I looked at the corner of my screen and it said recommended channel. I'm not going to say whose channel is it, but for some reason Twitch has recommended me to watch Melty Blood. Why the fuck would I do that to myself? I don't live in the bathroom. <laughs> but, um, fucking, uh, I lost my train of thought. Melty Blood really just fucked me up with that. Um, the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, fucking... Yeah, Mitsu, Shadow Mitsu is annoying as shit. I remember, like, on the PS3, uh, playing that. Yes, I played it on PS3, not 360. Sorry about that. But, um, I remember playing it on PS3, and everybody would pick Shadow Mitsu or fucking, like, Shadow Teddy or some shit. And every time they would try to set up that fucking, that fucking infinite kick bullshit that they would do. And every time, me as Akihiko, before they can do it, I just call out Caesar and tell them to get their ass over here. <laughs> not dealing with that shit. The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet she is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Shadow Mitsuru seems to be a meme. Exactly. Dude, I can't believe Mitsuru's fucking 5'4". <laughs> She's 5'4", how the fuck? Seriously, though. Thanks. The case has ended and Midnight Channel seems to have stopped broadcasting as well. The Midnight Channel will surely never come on again. You decide to go to bed early for today. Because we learn how to play the game, but you can learn one combo exactly. Why the fuck would you learn to play the game? Eight minutes and 31 seconds of uh, Shadow Mitsuru is fair and balanced character. Exactly. Like, I mean... Whenever I see Mitsuru, I just start pulling some bullshit myself, but still, it's annoying, because you know, like, the game just turns into fucking Marvel vs. Capcom, touch of death starts happening. How about we meet up in front of the shrine in the shopping district? I hear they're gonna hand out um, Amazaki. Well, 5-4 is plenty tall once she, once she has you, once she has you on your knees, <laughs> like the dummy mommy she is, Jesus. I mean, listen. Everyone who played P3 for the first time was like, so Mitsuru's taller than me, yeah? <laughs> and you were kind of hoping for that, and then it's like, no, you're taller than her, and it's like, how? It doesn't seem that way. Sorry. What the fuck? Whew, sorry to keep you waiting. 
Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I don't remember Kanji running out the building like that. That scared the shit out of me. I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi, had already started, so I I'm, rushed out I'm, here. I'm sorry, what a what a fuck a what? <laughs> Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi? God. Sorry we're late. Hellos! Okay, but MVC3 is your main game. I mean, MVC3 is great. I'm just saying, like... I'm just saying, Touch of Death is kind of annoying. <laughs> touch of Death and Happy Birthday, right? I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. It's all right. Ah, you're such a good bear. You little fucking suck up. Me? It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Man, is it me or is Yosuke constantly dripping? Like, for real. One of the few characters that's constantly just worried about that style. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices! Don't worry, Teddy, I used to work in a supermarket too. Sometimes I just throw shit away too. <laughs> I'm like, my union says I'm on break right now, so I don't care what happens to any of this shit. Talking about you, you little... Moving on. Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? Oh, I don't mean when you call an assist. I mean when you fucking die and someone's just waiting for your ass. It's like, come on, man. I didn't even hit the ground yet. <laughs> you doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? Because it's a sausage party, my guy. D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? N no lovely girls? Hell no. Hell yeah, Yuyens. I don't work there no more. I do security now. But man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. I get paid to fucking do fuck all for the most part. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko Senpai's house first. You know, like to put on their kimonos. K kimonos? Did you hear that? <laughs> Teddy, Sensei? we're all gay. Be gay kimonos! with us. I love how Teddy's like, I hope this isn't no fucking lame guy's night, but he's the same guy that's like, I can't wait to wash your bag, Sensei. Like, what? <laughs> That must be it, Teddy. Aren't you getting worked up about this a bit too early? Huh? You're the only one who's not psyched for Kima Notion! <laughs> Why are you turning Kimono's this on Nicole. me? Why the fuck would you do that to yourself? I don't know. Some people are crazy. Although I must say, seeing Rizette in a kimono would be quite a sight. Whoa. Maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... Too much information. I'm sorry about the wait. Damn it, ladies. Sorry. One of the few times I don't want you to cover up. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. <sighs> You're actually at work right now. Uh, a monitor generator alarms for all engineer firm overnight. It's pretty slow, 99% of the time. Exactly, right? The only time I have to worry about it is when, like, a big releases come out for uh, movies and shit, right? Because I work at, like, a shopping mall, like a fucking shopping outlet. And the last time a movie came out, a big old movie, was Batman. And what happened was very hilarious, right, in terms of what happened in the end. It, the, the actual situation itself was not hilarious at all. But how it all played out was very hilarious. So... Two guys in a movie theater, they're watching fucking Batman or whatever. Someone gets mad over someone, uh, something, and they start arguing. Then the guy, thinking that, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, he just goes, whatever, man, I got a fucking gun, I'll start shooting. And then the other guy goes, oh, that's funny, you're arrested, because he was an undercover cop. <laughs> and then the fucking, and then the whole entire movie just started getting swatted, and I was like, Jesus, man, what the fuck? 
<laughs> like literally we were all just you know because we work for the mall and we don't work for the individual stores so fucking what literally happened was that we're all doing our rounds and shit and then we just see a bunch of police officers rolling up and we're like what the fuck is going on and then they're all going to the movie theaters and i'm like what and they're just dragging this dude out the funny part about it too is that the guy didn't even have a fucking gun so i don't know what the fuck he was on about right and then they started searching the whole movie theaters to see you know if there's anything dangerous in there there wasn't but it's like what the fuck was the point of that huh. like great job man you got arrested over nothing Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, Chie. <laughs> Where are your kimonos? Wouldn't even ask for your money back if you, if, if you got to see that happen. That's incredible. It was funny as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Because I was like, what happened? They were like, oh, man. So dude was like, I got a gun. And the other guy said, fuck that reverse card. <laughs> he said, you got a gun? Okay. Because <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Man, that cop, dead ass fucking, he was on point with that huh? shit. A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. Out of she your league? Implying. Oh shit. <laughs> He goes like, uh-uh, motherfucker. Ain't no implications here. My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! Wow, you're sad, Riza. I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually... Actually, I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Oh, me too, Coconut Head. I love you. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's get going. Tim, thank you, Coconut. Use her magic outside the TV world, but that was burned. Jesus. <sighs> Staying still makes me cold. They're handing out Amazaki over there. Uh, uh, not till near. Hey, how what? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay! Five, four, three, two, two one! one. <laughs> Happy New Year! I'm glad we're here together. New Year's here! Finally, the New Year's here! Let's make this year a great oh, Happy New Year, both of you. Thank you! <laughs> it's not your <laughs> celebration. No, none for you, Rise. <laughs> what? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's snowy! Wow. Oh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. Well, hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! I still think Stupe is better. <laughs> okay, Stupe. He's like, stop calling me that! Leading group has crossed the big show a bridge and they're using their final kick as oh, they man. prepare to hand off. Did I romance anyone that's played through? I romanced everybody. Because I'm neutral in all of this. I can't choose. You guys have to choose for me. You have to fight each other. <laughs> Imagine being in Japan and being this extravagant and noisy. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine thinking Japan is real. It's not. <laughs> You should know that the moment you get off the plane and the subtitles start kicking in, and you're like, what the fuck? Stupid ace defective. That's so fucking good. I love it. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Living the real Chad and our comedy experience. Exactly. Ah, there you are.
All right. Are we ready then? If you follow me, if you follow me, you have uh, BTTV. You also have access to the Chad Wellington emote. (laughs) There's a character in my head known as Chad Wellington. Very prestigious. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good job. Happy New Year to you too, big bro. We'll probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. My fucking family has an annoying ass tradition on New Year's where they will literally wake me up in the middle of the night because, you know, I work overnights and shit, so (laughs) sometimes I'm just like, stop bothering me because I either have to go to work on New Year's or some bullshit. But they'll literally wake me up in the middle of the night and be like, hey man, you need to walk through the front door and walk back in again. Like... Because their tradition is like, you got to have a man walk through the fucking front door. Be the first person through your door in the New Year's for good luck or some bullshit. I don't know where the fuck they got that from, but it's annoying as shit. In any case, because I'm the only dude in the house. Over this past year. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved since so much happened. Thanks, man. I'm not a man yet, though. There's no denying it. You can't fool my keen detective eyes. Dojima looking at me, he said, damn, you's a whole ass man. <laughs> like what? Dad, can we eat yet? All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food. Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. I mean, you spent more time with Nanako this past year than he did. <laughs> Nanako died as she lived, waiting for her dad. <laughs> like, Jesus. It seems that Ojima family won't be going to pay their visits. Uh, won't be going to pay their first visits of the year to the shrine in consideration of Nanako's condition. Start fighting. Start. <laughs> Holy crap, that was dark, exactly. But we get to laugh at it because she's not dead. She only she only was a little dead. Her heart stopped for like maybe ten minutes. Actually, her heart stopped for like what forty minutes or something. It's not until after you're done fucking fucking around with the Namatame. <laughs> All right, guys. I can't choose. You gotta choose for me. I want to see people argue. You got four choices. Chie, Yukiko, Rize, Nanta. We got one for Rize. Pixels, help us out here. <laughs> help us out here. So far, throughout the playthrough, I think Chie has won the most, right? Uh, I don't think I, I think Rize won one. Yukiko didn't one jack shit, and Naoto just hasn't been here. If you have time today, why don't we go and pay our first visits to the shrine? Just the two of us. It's just don't know, let Prinny decide. Jesus. We can't be civil here. It's Persona 4. No, Yukiko. Sorry. Let's do our best this year, too. You want to go to the shrine today? I have something to show you. Sorry, Chie. There's still two emails. I mean, guys. Don't you want to see Naoto in her cute schoolgirl outfit? <laughs> what day is that? Is that that's, a, that's Valentine's, right? Am I bugging? Which event is that? What now to her uh, schoolgirl's outfit? Is that this one? Happy New Year, Senpai. We should do tons of stuff together this year. Now to also works, doesn't really matter to you. Let's play our first visit to the shrine today, of course. Since it'd just be the two of us, I'll dress up.
Is Naoto's event the New Year's one? Rize wants to do stuff though, so there's that. <laughs> I just don't want, honestly, I just don't want to miss Naoto's outfit. I don't think that's this one. That's not this one, right? Which one is Naoto's fucking schoolgirl outfit? Ah, fuck it. Who cares? All right, Rize. Started to go to the shrine with Rize. Going out to. Oh shit, I already chose. <laughs> Damn it. Tatsumi Shrine. It appears that Rize hasn't arrived yet. Senpai! Sorry to keep you waiting. I look pretty good even in something like this, don't I? <laughs> eh, so so. How about it? What are your impressions? Eh. You look cute. Thanks. You came out and said that pretty smoothly. It kind of feels like you had a lot of practice. But to be honest, I wish that you'd said that I looked beautiful. I went with a more mature color and design after all. I wanted to show you that this year, I'm not just a child anymore. Hey, you're not even 17 yet. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. I was actually really nervous when I looked at myself in the mirror this morning. I've worn all kinds of different outfits for my job. Atlas, why? More like Japan, why? See, this is what happens if, when you don't let fucking Atlas make Persona 1 into Lunarville, USA, and change Mark to a black guy. <laughs> they start going like, oh, so you want everything to, you want everything to be straight up Japanese? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Isn't it weird that I'm more nervous dressing up for you than I am dressing up for tons of people? I had thoughts like, I wonder how Senpai will react, and I'm leaving if he doesn't compliment me. Oh, what the fuck? All I was thinking about was you. I'm leaving if he doesn't say I look good. What are you going Jesus. to wish for, Senpai? I've already made up my mind. I'm going to wish that both of us are happy forever. Um. Damn, dog. I'll wish for your dreams to come true. How about that? My dream? Are you talking about my work? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I don't have any dreams. All I have are goals. Did you read that out of a book, Rize? That's why I won't wish for anything related to it. I want my accomplishments to be from my own hard work. Well, let's make our wish together. Wait, what? Roses are red, violets are blue, my skin is white, so you know I'm true. What the fuck? Senpai, have you drawn the fortunes here before? My grandma said that you can get bad results here even on New Year's. So let's see if we're lucky. Trying to get lucky, Rize? Okay. There's a box hold in... Uh, um, oh, fuck, I can't even see the word. Omikuji, sealed for fortunes placed in front of the shrine. Pick one without thinking. Pick one thinking in pure thoughts. I'm a Christian boy. Fortune says, medium blessing. Mine said small blessing. Hmm. Well, that's not so bad. Well, that means you just don't love me enough. I bet it means our love will increase even more. And I want to keep getting a better fortune for further in the future. Wait. Revelations Persona had some of the most questionable local decisions. Oh shit, was that really in there? I don't remember. I only played it like two times. And that was years ago. That's when I was literally first getting into Persona. Fucking, I was like, I'm gonna play Persona. It was before 5 came out, too. I was like, um... I was like, I know someone who has all the games. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna play them. And then I was like... And they were like, oh, play the remake. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm playing the original first. I gotta see what the hell they did here. Oh my god. Jesus. Revelations Persona. Fucking hell. Rizé's nodding. I wish this shrine was bigger. I can't believe we've already gone around the whole thing. I want to stay with you longer. Should we go somewhere? How about to my place? We're all Your alone. Place? Yeah, I want to go. I need to make a New Year's greeting to Nanako-chan too. Oh, and Dojima-san too, of course. Should I bring some New Year's food from my place? My grandma made it. Oh, 
Actually, let's pass on going to your place. <laughs> How dare you? My grandma you? helped me wear this kimono. If it were to get undone, Whoa! I wouldn't be able to put it back on correctly. You know what I mean, don't you? Whoa! <laughs> gotcha! I just made your heart skip a beat, didn't I? This is actually pretty hard to breathe in. I'll go change and we'll go somewhere afterwards. What the fuck, Rize? I'm gonna be honest, I never went to the shrine with Rize before for New Year's. So I'm actually pretty surprised by that. Welcome back. Rize got me good. What the fuck was that, man? She said, my grandma helped me put this on, so if it got undone, like, what? <laughs> Why would you say that? New Year's. You should return to your room and relax. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. It's roses are red. Zombies are blue. Oh, okay. Wow! Look at all the snow. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Hey, I want to make a snowman. A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but. The doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. What about you, big bro? I gotcha. We'll make one together. Yay! Nanako, don't get too worked up, alright? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? I haven't made a snowman in years. Big bro, that's amazing! I wanna say like last year was the first time in a couple of years that we actually got good snow around here. How did you get it so big? I mean we had a blizzard like the year before, but eh. It really didn't last that long, honestly. It's cause I got guts. I read about that in some manga when I was at the hospital. Yeah, I read about that too, and then something about Griffith not doing something wrong. If you have guts, then you can get a cool frog t-shirt or become the best boncho. Alright, I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. I love Dojima's logic here. He's like, my doctor tells me bending over, I can't do that because my wound needs to heal. So let me just pick up that snowball and just throw it up there. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. There. It's small, but it comes together well. It's done! It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, big bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Can you make the face look like Teddy? I'll try my best. Decided to adapt the snowman to Teddy like way. It's a Teddy man! <laughs> it looks so cool! You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Thanks, big bro! Nanako's very happy. You're glad that you put effort into it. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. And then you just kick it over. I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me. She's nine years old and you got her hooked on coffee. You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, will I go out? I guess, right? Is there... Go out to eating? Yeah, I guess. Do I gotta go around saying Happy New Year's to people? The simping triangle in this game. Yosuke simps for Rize, Rize simps for you, you simps for Yosuke. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Yumi. Oh, Yukun, Happy New Year's. Wow, I still can't believe this whole New Year's has already started. In no time, I'll become a third year, taking college exams, and in a blink of an eye, I'm graduating. Oh, I probably shouldn't be negative on New Year's. Happy New Year! 
I just need to slow down and cherish each day of my life, so I hope this year is a great one for the both of us. Her dad hasn't died yet in our social link, I think. <laughs> so she's still happy. She hasn't had the happiness ripped out of her fucking soul happy yet. New year. So much happened last year, but I think I managed to get through it all because I had all of you with me. This is nothing new, but thank you. Let's make this year to remember, too. That reminds me, have you spoken with Yosuke-kun? Why are you worried about Yosuke? <laughs> he asked me if I had any plans for the start of the year. It sounded like he was up to something. I can't wait to find out what. You mean you can't wait to slap the shit out of him again? Hey Yukiko, can you help me study? Bam! What the hell was that for? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! So let's make this one great year too, you. We went through a ton of stuff last year, but I'm glad we're all safe and ready to ring the New Year's together. Oh yeah, this year instead of cutting the rice cake, let's cut and eat steak. What? <laughs> it's practically the same thing, right? This guy seems to be planning something for winter break. He said we should all go out and have fun. I bet when Yosuke get older, he becomes a fucking swinger. <laughs> gotcha. Oh shit. Rize. Happy New Year! Hey, I can't look at you straight no more, Rize. Yikes, I'm getting deja vu. I feel like I'm with you all the time now. You sure about that? Because earlier in the stream, you were gone for like a fucking month. I don't know what happened to you. You just disappeared. I may not be relaxed. <laughs> I may be relaxed come this time of year. But I'll definitely make time for you. You say pl I'm planning ahead. In any case, may this year be awesome for us too. Hey, loser. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Feels odd running to each other like this in town. We always met in my room after all. I feel a little nervous now. There's still others. Okay, well, that's it. Okay. Hi, I. Hey. What are you doing here on New Year's? I mean, I live here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You live around here. Thanks. Well, Happy New Year's. It's such a generic greeting, but I might as well say it. Wandering around like this isn't so bad every once in a while. Well, see you around sometimes. Hey, Ko. Happy Does your family still not like you? <laughs> I love this time of year. You feel that in the air? That's the feeling of perfect relaxation. But I think I'll go back home. There's so much New Year's food there. What the fuck is New Year's food? For real. <laughs> I feel like I'm bulking up. But I'm starting to miss Aya. You know, I'm gonna have a. Dr I'm gonna have to drag Daisuke there one of these days. <laughs> you better come with us too. All right. Anyways, let's make this a great year. I love I underrated as fuck. Honestly, out of the main girls, I is my favorite. Like when you're not counting Chie, Yukiko, Rize, and Naoto, I is definitely my favorite. Happy New Year! Well, I mean Nanako is my favorite, but I is my favorite. Maybe yeah, because you need stuff to start the social link. No, I think it's because you can completely just fuck it up. <laughs> not fuck it up, but like, there's two routes that are both really good. Where it's like, either you date her or you don't. It's all out of respect. Right? The beginning is do this, do that. It is do this, do that, but she actually likes it if you fight back a little bit. So when she's like, buy me a drink, and you go, bitch, buy it yourself. She goes, what? <laughs> she's like, damn, can't believe you said that to me. You got balls. Yo, Senpai, Happy New Year. With the fog cleared, I'm feeling pretty good about this time of year. I was bored on New Year's Day, so I went out on my bike. Then I got lost and ended up in the mountains. But that's kind of that's kind of snow pro. Wait, what? But this kind of snows no problem for me. So we should go somewhere again. I follow you wherever you want this year too. So let's make it a kick-ass year. Okay. She's more hostile than some others. I know. That's why she's cool. <laughs> that's what makes her cool. Um. I also like Niobe. I can't even say his name for a moment, God damn it! I also like Naoki's stuff. It's pretty cool. Hello, uh, I'm currently in mourning, so I can't really... This town gets so quiet on New Year's, but for some reason, there's still this warm atmosphere about it. I wonder if it's warm or of all the happy f families... Ugh, I can't even read no more. I'm losing my mind here. I wonder if it's the warm aura of all the happy families spreading from their homes into the street. There's still others you have to say Happy New Year's to. 
<laughs> Naoki's a Sigma male to his court, for real. Alright. Let's head to the shrine, say Happy New Year's to the fox. The foxy fox. Best girl in P4 is Margaret. I can't really, you know, you don't do anything with Margaret, right? Like with Elizabeth, you do a lot with Elizabeth, and then Elizabeth fucking goes out her way for you. But Margaret just kind of chills, right? <laughs> Margaret kisses you? Yeah, she kisses you, but that's all she really does. You can get kissed from anybody else. Like Marie kisses you. The fox is gleefully looking at the offertory box. Yep. Good job, fox. She has you close your eyes so you don't witness her shameful act. Because velvet room attendants aren't supposed to, like, get it on. That's something I really do like in Persona Q, though. Like, Persona Q... I never played Persona Q 2. I think that's the only one I haven't played. Um... That's the only one I haven't played. You know, that in the Japanese only mobile game where you play as Igus or whatever the fuck that no one can no longer get anymore because it was for fucking flip phones. But. But, um. Whatchamacallit. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, in Persona Q or whatever. Like, how she stutters around, around uh, Elizabeth. She's like, listen, I gotta tell you something. And she's like, what is it? She's like, damn it. You wonder where Sayako went off after quitting her job. Hmm? Aren't you the boy who was working here part time? Are you wondering about Sayoko san? Who knows where she is now? Although a New Year's card did get delivered here to the hospital, it didn't say where she was, but from the sounds of things, she's studying hard and doing well. Oh, had a little note for you too. I think it was. Let us both do our best. You wonder if Sayoko is ringing in the New Year somewhere. Although there seems to be little doubt that she's well. You do like Elizabeth's character arc. And how as far as we know it's still going on. It is, right? Because Atlas are a bunch. Atlas is weird because they're like everything in Persona is fucking canon. Everything that happens is canon. But we're so scared to do anything. Right? Kind of sucks. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Yosuke. Man, New Year's already? This year went by way too fast. Well, that just shows how awesome we did last year. We solved the case after all. It's all over. We did it. High five, Yosuke. All that's left is to have some fun with the time we have left. I already thought up some plans for the winter break. <laughs> You're going to be part of it, like it or not. Let's make this year a great one too, partner. Cool. Happy New Year! Oh, Sensei. Happy New Year's. I got a New Year's gift. Yosuke's mom and dad gave them to me. Now I can buy tons of snacks. Or so I thought, but I might see. Did they ever explain how the fuck Teddy's living there? Like, did Yosuke just go here and be like, Oh, he, I found a homeless dog off the street. <laughs> I'm going to use it to buy parents for Nana Chan. Wait, what? Oh. I'm gonna use it to buy her some new parents. I'm gonna use it to buy presents for Ananachan so we can all have fun together. Jesus. May this year be as great as the last one. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> buy new parents. I got really dark real fast. Said, you know what? You do need a new mom. I heard I can get one near Shurkaw Boulevard. Happy New Year. Oh, hello there. Happy New Year's. Thank you for all your help last year. I hope this year will be wonderful for you. Well, I need to finish shopping and head back. My relatives are coming over to visit. I haven't met up with some of them in a while, so I'm feeling a little nervous. <laughs> Wait, isn't Naoto out here? Naoto, speak to me. Naoto-chi! Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. 
I feel as though this time has gone by faster since the New Year's began. The case is over. We did it. High five, Naoto. And I have nothing left to accomplish here. But I thought, well, I may as well enjoy a normal life with the rest of you. So once again, may this year be fruitful for both of us, senpai. Eri can now be Nanako's new mom. I wouldn't do that because that means Yuta has to be her brother and I fucking hate that kid. <laughs> I want to beat the shit out of him. My. Oh, Yuchan. You always seem so energetic. I'm sorry, I'm currently in mourning, so I can't do a New Year's greeting with you. Happy New Year. But you did it regardless. But I'm glad that you were able to... I can't really do it, but uh... Happy New Year's. Well, I'm glad that we're able to meet. Let's talk it together again sometimes. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Margaret, okay? Just give me a break. I don't even like Aerie that much, honestly. Like, it's not her fault, it's just that her social link sucks. <laughs> and it takes a lot of time to do for someone that you can only see, like, what? Maybe two days out the week? Most of the time, you only see her like once out of the week. Can't wait for P6. Uh, P6? Why'd I say it like that? P6. The temporary social link is MILF in that game, too. Jesus. I just hope they don't back out of the teacher shit no more. Because they did that with P3. They try to do it with P4, but Kashiwagi is ugh. And then P5, they're like, all right. All right, we got it. Finally. We got the go ahead. Right? Honestly, I I really want P6. I would really like Welcome it if the characters the were older. Room. What business do you have here? Like I would like for them to be college students. College students and maybe like to adults. Because I don't know why they strayed away from that cuz Persona Persona 2 like had adults in it. You had fucking Baofu and Yulala and my bad her name's not Yulala even though I want it to be. Ooh la la. Fucking what the hell. And, uh, you know, and, and Marie, right? And Nate. Nate came back. And then you have Tetsuya's brother and all that shit. Yeah. Much, much old such. Wow. <laughs> Imagine people being 28 or 32. Exactly. I mean, and, and they, I guess they're trying to go back with it with Persona 5 uh, Strikers. Because you got Zinkichi. Who's literally just a character ripped out of Bloodborne. <laughs> oh man. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do I got here? I came to say Happy New Year's. My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Why'd you say that sarcastically? I did not realize the year had passed. Great, thank you. Fucking moron. Ah, uh, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. What? When the fuck she leave? Not too long ago. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers. And we always change. Zinkichi's better than Dojima? i am be honest, I know a lot of people like Dojima, I like Dojima too. And I think a lot of people kind of get blinded because, oh my god, Persona 4, best game ever. But, it's really easy to beat Dojima. It's really easy. Like, fucking Tetsuya's brother beats Dojima. Baofu beats Dojima. Like, <laughs> it's really easy to beat Dojima. Like, and I mean, let's be honest, Sojiro kind of beats Dojima. That man literally will betray his daughter for you. Like, what an asshole. <laughs> you may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. Honestly, I think the best Dojima has ever been was, was Persona 4 dancing. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. <laughs> Much Jojo and Baofu's design. So where'd she go? Why didn't you stop her? We are but attendants along the journeys that our visitors take. 
We cannot simply intervene in events. Oh, but you can kill me if you feel like it. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. I must warn you, though, it may involve danger. What is your choice? I don't care about the danger, I'll go. Very well. I gotta save Poochie. Please give me some time. Make sure he gets up to heaven. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. Where did Marie go? You decided to wait for Margaret to come for you. Isn't that supposed to be the other way around? <laughs> a little bit of a naughty joke there. I found a drawing of someone saying Baofu is Sojiro. I'll get the fuck out of here with that. Soji bro is top tier. I say Zenkichi is better, Dojima, because he has nearly identical character arcs, police officer who's too busy to spend time with his daughter. Also, his wife is dead. <laughs> Listen, Zenkichi's better than Dojima. I will 100% agree with that. Also because he's a Bloodborne motherfucker. But Nanako is better than his daughter, hands down. <laughs> hands down. Forgot about Zenkichi. The only reason I... The only Welcome reason Zenkichi's back. fresh on my mind, honestly, is because... I didn't... Alright, I played Persona Strikers. I didn't finish it. But I knew I was gonna like let's play it at some point in the future, so But I really wanted to play it because I just needed to know how the fuck the game played and then it was just too good to put down So I didn't 100% uh, Follow the story. I just skimmed through it But the story is so easy to follow that you honestly don't even have to look at it so. Like you kind of just get it already, right? Like, I didn't even watch any of the cutscenes, and I'm going through it, and I'm like, oh, wait, so that's his daughter? <laughs> uh, 11.13. Just making sure I'm not saving over something that I need later. Uh, yeah. One P5R before D. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I confused myself real quick. I mean about details, you even forgot he had a persona. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> not sure about P5S gameplay, not sure you like it. It's uh it's very weird because at first you know, at first honestly, I would say everyone besides the main character is really fun to play as. Like, besides Akira, and no his name's not Ren, I'm not calling him Ren, I refuse to acknowledge that Persona 5 the anime is garbage. Unless you're talking about Persona 5 uh Daybreakers. That was great. Strikers is a canonical sequel to Vanilla P5, not Royal. Yeah. Heard that because it was P5R. Make no sense, palaces would keep happening. I mean, let's be fair. Like, Persona 4, uh, Ultimax. When did Ultimax come out? Oh shit. Oh shit, did, uh, did Arena come out before Golden? Was Arena 2011? You call him Toast? Toast McSimmons because you hate fighting over canon names? Honestly, I'm, I don't care about the canon name that much. It's just that... It's like, if we're gonna choose a canon name, don't choose it after the garbage-ass anime. Come on! Ultimax, don't recall the same year. I'm not even thinking of Ultimax, I'm thinking of Arena. When did Arena come out? Was that 2010, 2011? Because if it was, then it was before Golden. But Ultimax came out after Golden, I think. I don't know, this shit doesn't make sense. Half of Persona doesn't make sense. If, you, if everything's supposed to be canonical, just look at fucking Persona Trinity Soul. That whole entire thing doesn't make sense. <laughs> fucking Trinity Soul. You want to talk about a garbage Persona anime, right? Thanks for the follow, should be a beat. Greatly appreciate it. Are you calling Persona 4 animation garbage? No, I'm talking about Persona 5. Now, to be fair, I didn't make it past episode 3 because I couldn't. I just couldn't. Like, it was physically hard for me to do. <laughs> like, it really was. I tried. I honestly tried, but I just couldn't take it no more. I was really mad. Not mad, but just kind of annoyed. Like, I lost interest. 
Happy New Year! Golden oh, wait, released a few months after Arena, and then fucking Ultimax came out after that. But at the end of Golden, isn't the TV world gone? No, it's not gone. It's just back to like looking all beautiful and shit, and then fucking what's his name? Show shows up. Golden came out after Arena. Okay. Ultimax is at the end of 2013, which is after... <laughs> Arena came out, then Golden came out, then Ultimax came out, because I know Golden came out 2012, right? Yeah. Golden came out 2012, am I not crazy? It came out around the launch of, uh... Of, uh, whatchamacallit? Of the PS Vita? Yeah, you're in a few months after. Yeah, so fucking... <sighs> get along this year too persona canon doesn't make sense <laughs> like i said you want to you really want to question shit go watch persona I trinity soul and that. then spend like 12 episodes wondering what the fuck is going on sorry to drop by unannounced i thought about calling you but we were already in the area thank you for inviting me in at this time they released persona so fast i know right jesus Thinking English stuff makes Persona 5 a lot better. But it's still nowhere near P4. Mm. I know Dancing is the last one that's canonically in Persona 4. Right? And... And fucking... Okay, wait, hold up. Question. If they... Fuck, man. If they did a P5 arena, right? How the fuck are they gonna deal with the P4 characters? Because, first of all, they have no year, and I think the reason they did that is just, just in case if they want to age them up or not. But in the background, there's a fucking poster of Rize, and she's still looking pretty young. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it makes no sense! You've gotta wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Jesus. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? Oh, well, the Persona Q games, when it comes to canon for that, it's not that hard. It's like, it happened, but it didn't, right? <laughs> like, that's pretty much what it is. It's like, oh, it happened, we just don't remember, and it happened within a space and time didn't exist, so whatever. It was four years ago, Atlas released P3 Remake. Keep it, keep it a secret. Dude, I don't know why they, why they just don't pull out the remakes. They have all the assets from the fucking dancing games. Literally, they have the backgrounds and shit. Also, didn't they use, like, the Itatoi dorm layout for testing out Persona 5? Like, what the hell, man? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. Listen, all I know is if you if you re-release Persona 5, you gotta... First of all, get... Get fucking Ken out of there, man. Second of all, fucking... Uh, stop with the rescuing people in fucking, whatchamacallit, in Tartarus. Because the fact that I... The fact that my social link can die is stupid. And then, third of all, just fix Tartarus. It doesn't need to be that many floors. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local. And the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. Yeah. Want P3 remake more than anything? Me too, honestly. I love P3. Everything on Steam and everywhere. <laughs> At reasonable prices. None of that fucking Kingdom Hearts shit on the Epic Store. The game's so good, but it has so many janks. I would honestly like for the game to have two modes. <laughs> where it's like, do you want your characters to listen to you or not? Cause that's funny. What do you think? I like that. I can tell you exactly why P3 hasn't had to remake the FMC. Exactly. But it's easy for them to do. Character assets and whoosh, it's all done. They had to redraw the anime cutscenes with their with her in instead. Yeah, but I mean They gotta quote unquote they have to. Doesn't matter if they do it, they just they just need to hire the shitty team that did all the animation after Persona 5. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened after Persona 5. 
after that game came out, they hired some different animation team, and it's all fucking garbage. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Let's not, and if we do, it's pricey. Meanwhile, here's the thing. You know, like, I, I get it, people are tired of remakes and shit like that, but it's like... How the fuck... How do you not re-release P3 with all these assets? P3 and P4 with all these assets. Even in Persona 5 uh, Royal, you got secret bosses in there that have those assets. It's annoying. <laughs> and how do you not re-release that, but you're making a sequel to a Shin Megami Tensei game that hasn't been, that hasn't been around for like, what, 20 years? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I mean, I'm happy it's coming back, but still. Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free too, so I'm going to start making serious plans for. Rather this. put money and effort to remake, you rather have them make a new game. Yukiko is usually busy during this season too. I rather them make if the remake free, so that they I'm can then sure take the money they milk from that to put it towards the new game. Ooh, another overnight event. Soul Hackers Two is being handheld by. Uh, being handled by a different team. Okay, well that's good. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak in? Rather have a definitive P3 than P6. I mean, there is a definitive P3. It's called FES because that stands for Persona 3 Festival because that's what we got in the U.S. Why are you there is an original that we're going Persona to try 3. That again? What and then there's the P3, P3P. Enough. But yeah, I know what you mean, fucking... It ain't you know. over till it's over! Listen, you got Catherine full body. Just give me Persona 3, damn it. I don't care. Listen, I love Persona 4. I don't need it to be remade no more. Just give me Persona 3. There's so many people who will not touch Persona 3 because to them, it's too... It's quote-unquote too fucking hard. But honestly, in my opinion... My, like, I will say, in terms of story, Persona 5 is better. But in terms of th in terms of theming... I think Persona 3 is way fucking better. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? I think Persona has their own people that work on it. Yeah. You would too, honestly. Give me the strengths of FES and Portable. Ah, you guys are here. Love to put them to work to make P3. <laughs> Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Even if it was P3F, you take it. But you really like a remake. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Same to you. Well, we got three events go left. Now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend you know? for yourself for a while. I mean, I think the reason, the I think one of the reasons they probably are avoiding P3 as much as possible is because I feel like if they do acknowledge it again, Someone's gonna be like, all right, so what happened with Elizabeth? And they're gonna start twiddling their thumbs and going, uh, I don't know. Are you going on a trip? We didn't make that story. Atlas made that story. Nah, we're- I mean, not Atlas, uh, let's call it Arc System Works. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! Aww, sorry, Nanako. I don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Well then, sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See ya, Nanako. Don't die in the hospital again, okay? Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? I know. You remember P3D was announced? Everybody lost their minds because they thought it was going to be P3 Remake. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And they're like, oh no, it's just a dancing game. And I was like, oh. Well, how are they going to do a story for that? They're like, well, we're not really doing a story. And it's like, oh, go fuck yourself. It takes place during the time when some bullshit happened and you guys forget about it. I'll stay 
here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Damn, Yosuke, why are you jealous? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Stop hogging Sensei, all that teddy dick your to yourself, life man. With me will be priceless. It has a furry tit. <laughs> wow, we everything now that's is canon. My exactly. You are agreeing just like that? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. I'm hungry as fuck right now. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me Does whenever Teddy you want. Does Teddy count as a furry? I mean, he has a fur suit and everything. I wouldn't say. I don't think Teddy counts as a furry, mainly because... Like, the only people who ever he ever tries to hit on while he's wearing the suit is fucking Chie and Yukiko and Rize and them, but they're used to him being in the suit. But when he's walking around town and he's like trying to get it on with all the moms, <laughs> he's not and wearing think the suit. About that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. Now, if he needed the suit in order to get busy, then, then yeah, he's a furry. I mean, he's more, like I said before, he's more of a turtle than a, fur <laughs> than a furry. That's his turtle shell. Uh, it's evening. Well, there's no reason for me to go out, right? I have both of those, do I have both of those maxed out for, uh, for whatchamacallit? Oh no, I don't. Okay, can I tutor tonight? Oh no, I gotta go to bed. Oh shit. Your chill seems to have gotten even worse that night. You should return to your room and rest. I will. You feel dizzy. What's going on? Your vision begins to waver. Teddy, did you fucking Cosby me? What the hell, man? You can hear Teddy's voice from far away. He started saying something about pudding pops. <laughs> oh. Oh, so he's actually a scaly. Oh shit. Teddy starts smacking his lips like a fucking turtle. You guys ever watch those videos of, like, the turtle just eating watermelons and shit? I don't know why I like it, but I do. I'm like, damn! I'm like, god damn it, turtle! Eat that watermelon! You fucking that shit up! Oh, this calls for a cold pillow. Hang in there, sensei. Your body feels heavy. Your vision blurs again. Sounds like me after a workout. <laughs> I just want to die. Oh my god, is this an ad for Hot Topic? It looks like you have another dream. Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. But you can't leave yet. Stone Ocean Season 2 hasn't come out. You try to speak, but for some reason, you are unable to. I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It is gone, Marie. We did it. High five. It's over. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. <sighs> I love you. Now and forever. So, goodbye. <sighs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. <laughs> I love how she's like, don't make that face. But me, as I'm watching this, I got a big ass smile on my face. <laughs> Goodbye. She's like, don't make that face. I know it's sad. And I'm just like holding back a laugh. Your vision begins to waver. You feel lightheaded. It's like everything is being shrouded in darkness. Have I been playing Kingdom Hearts again? Damn. Oh shit, I thought she was gonna speak. Alright. He looks like he's in pain. Yeah, I think it's cold. Winter around here can be pretty unforgiving. Great deduction, Yukiko. You think it's cold, thanks. Hmm. 
Look like the ski trip will have to be pushed back. There's no point in going without you after all. So, why did you put him under the Kotatsu? Isn't that supposed to be bad for you? Huh? Why not? Kotatsu's great when you're shivering from the cold. Uh, uh huh? That's the cold, not a cold. <laughs> Darkness. It's Aenor's lingering will. What was Xehanort doing in 2012? <laughs> Darkness. Well, Senpai, will Senpai be alright? What was he doing in 2012? Uh, When did uh, Dream Drop Distance come out? Was that 2012? He was doing that shit. He was taking over bodies. Damn it, it's pissing me off that I can't do anything about this. He should be okay. The medicine I picked up from the hospital appears to be working. It will still take a few more days, but Teddy is here to watch over him, so... Oh, great! The creature from a world that doesn't have medicine or anything fucking taking care of me. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Teddy, take care of Senpai for me. Of course! Leave it to Teddy. I've been sleeping with him every night. Wh you did fucking Cosby me, you son of a bitch. Ugh. Fat lot of help that did. Zina Chad. Oh wow, it did come out March of 2012. Holy shit. Can you tell that I know too much about Kingdom Hearts that I just got that off the top of my fucking head? Oh my god, I hate Kingdom Hearts. Fuck. You should be red you should be bedridden for a while, but it seems you finally recovered. I hate Kingdom Hearts, but at this point I have Stockholm Syndrome, so I have no choice but to buy and play every game. I was a Kingdom Hearts fan before it was cool, man. I bought every system to play every fucking game. Sensei, don't worry. You have me. It would seem that Teddy has been taking care of you. Imagine Kingdom Hearts 3 not having a terrible and complete story. Imagine Kingdom Hearts 3 not being a spit in the face that you've been waiting for for fucking 10 plus years. Think about that now. Listen, I'll get into how much I hate Kingdom Hearts when I when I stream and play Kingdom Hearts when we do all of that bullshit in the future. But all I know is I don't know what the fuck happened with the rise of like YouTube being super popular and a bunch of fucking Kingdom Hearts YouTubers showing up and shit coming out with dumbass theories and shit. The Kingdom Hearts community has turned into the cringiest thing ever and they just love anything that you give to them. Anything. They will just eat it up. It makes no sense. It's stupid. I hate Kingdom Hearts, but I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> What's my opinion on the 4 trailer? I have to rewatch it, honestly. But all I know is I was hanging out with friends when I looked at my phone and it said Kingdom Hearts 4. And then without react, <laughs> without like thinking, I just let it out aloud. God damn it. Like I just said it as loud as I could. And then I did <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. It was just a legit actual reaction that I had. And then one of my friends looked at me. They said, what's the matter? And I went, nothing. It's fucking Kingdom Hearts again. <laughs> Damn it. Gamer Joint made some interesting points. That is a name I haven't heard in fucking years. I don't even remember much about it. Yeah. But I have to rewatch the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, honestly, because I think the one that I saw wasn't even the full trailer, so... Yeah. In a way, it's kind of jealous of them. Wish you can just blindly love something like that. Me too, honestly. It's one of the reasons why it's really hard for me to watch anime now. Because I watched so many good anime and read so many good manga that most common shit I just don't like anymore. I sound elitist as fuck, by the way, and I know I do. Trust me, I know I sound elitist. <laughs> I apologize for disturbing you your night. There's something I must inform you about Marie, so I decided to contact you directly. Did you find her? Unfortunately, no. However, there's something I have discovered. Do you remember what I said before? I told you that if I led you to Marie, it may lead to danger. I'm concerned that this may turn out to be true. It is most likely that her destination is not found in the realm of man. I believe it will be true test of your persona powers, and by that you mean it will be one of the easiest dungeons in the game. Alright, cool. So until I come for you, I would suggest that you work to further your bonds with others. Gather your personas in the time you have so that you can come 
so that you can be ready for when the time comes. Now, if you would excuse me. Let's see. There's a 43 second one, and there's a 4 minute one. Yeah, there's a the 4 minute one I gotta look at. Uh, modern anime is garbage, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> That's harsh. I know. Like, I can't say, like, I'm not gonna say modern anime is garbage, because, you know, I think I've, I've watched enough over the years to, to like, um, you know, I watched enough and I've been bullied for it over the years to look at it and be like, oh, I know that this has potential or something and it's not just someone, you know, bullshit and throwing something out there, right? Well, not potential, more like you can see where love is put into it, right? So something like Demon Slayer, I remember when that was coming out and nobody talked about it and I was like, oh, this is good. This is going to be popular in like a month. And then... I remember telling people to watch it and they looked at me they're like I'm not watching that shit and then a month later everyone's fucking talking about it and then I stopped watching it <laughs> not because it's bad just because I just kind of stopped I have the manga for um Demon Slayer on my shelf over here right it's one of the few animes that came out and didn't get fucked over by editors because the manga was done before the anime so you know it didn't get full metal alchemist <laughs> right or fucking uh what's the other one um Blue Exorcist, that shit. <laughs> oh man, the last good anime was I can't even say that. I'm fucking sorry. Harushi Suzumiya. You will accept Madoka Magica. Madoka Magica was so good that everyone tries to copy off of it, but little did they know that Madoka Magica copied off of Kirby. <laughs> Do you feel the same about um, JJK? Is that a jujitsu? I, I remember, um, I got my niece into anime, and, you know, she's still at that age where Hot Topic is still kind of cool to her, so, you know, she'll watch, she'll watch some garbage here and there, but I remember her showing me, she showed me Chainsaw Man, and she showed me, uh, Jiu Jitsu, and at the time I was, like, reading Komi Can't Communicate before the anime came out and stuff like that, because, you know, I, there's a manga shop I go to, and I talk to the guy over there, and, you know, I order manga from there. And fucking, um, whatchamacallit, I'm losing my train of thought here. She showed me jujitsu. she showed me like the first couple of episodes, um, and then I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, I looked at it, and I was like, if this doesn't get a season two, then I don't, I don't know what the hell they're doing, because this looks like something that's gonna, like, blow up, like, real fast. That and Chainsaw Man, um, and then they both blew up. Comey can't communicate. It blew up because her design is, like, very familiar. It was weird, because I remember the first time I saw it, and I was like, didn't I see this character before? <laughs> Somewhere. So, you know. Same thing with Beastars. Like, I completely looked at Beastars, and I was like, this is going to blow up, and then the second season is going to come out, and no one's ever going to talk about it. Um, I'm surprised Attack on Titan blew up the way it did, because the first season came out, no one talked about it. The second season came out, no one talked about it. And then the third season came out, and then everybody loved it for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. But at the time the third season came out, the manga was already doing their whole future bullshit. So, you know, that's whatever. <laughs> um, you was like that when Attack on Titan you saw the first episode when it came out and you knew it was going to blow up. It didn't blow up until the third season, which is weird. In the manga scene, it blew up, but in the anime scene, it didn't. Uh, you don't like it for the record? Yeah. <laughs> I like... <sighs> I will say the anime for Attack on Titan is better than the manga, mainly because they know how to give you all the details you need without spinning panels and panels of panels of talking about bullshit that no one cares about. Like, I'm all for world building, but sometimes in the Attack on Titan manga, they just won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> heard a lot of people talk about Attack on Titan in the first season. I heard more people talk about it in the second season. Second season is where is when I started seeing people walking around with like book bags and shit, but it wasn't that many people. At least where I lived at anyways. But the first season, it totally got ignored. <laughs> it got ignored unless you were watching Team Four Star at the time, right? You carried Tate to the bed and decided to rest for the day. I am someone who grew up with Naruto, and I will I will firmly tell you that Naruto is garbage. <laughs> firmly tell you that. I've watched it all. I've been through all the filler. 
I don't like Naruto anymore. I still like Bleach, though. But Bleach is garbage, too. Bleach is basically the Michael Bay of anime. You pull your winter clothes out of your dresser and leave for school. Midwinter Yasuo. I like JJK, but don't like Naruto. Oh no, I said JJK was gonna blow up. Yo. I didn't watch JJK. I saw the couple of episodes and then I was like, oh, this is cool. And this is definitely gonna get a second season. Right, and as I said that, my my niece pulled out her phone and she was like, oh, it got greenlit for a second season. I was like, really? Damn, that was fast. <laughs> You were kind of groaning the day when I went to see you. Well, even if we didn't plan it, I'm glad Teddy was there for you. He put everything he had to take care of you. Don't sweat it. It's all better now. Oh yeah, about the ski trip. We decided to hold off until the next holiday. I'll set some of my New Year's money aside, so that'll make our plans then. Then that- oh uh, fuck, I can't even read no more. There's that block of holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. Right now, I know I'm trying to plan a skiing trip for later this year with some friends. I was supposed to go to Japan for like three weeks, but then, you know, my dog got cataracts and shit, so I, I gotta spend money on him to get that removed. Happy New Year's, everybody! I sure hope that this year will be just as great as last year. Did you all get to celebrate the New Year's in a proper way? By that, I mean, did you all fuck? I had Zony. So oh god, I can't even say this shit. I had Zony. Os Osechi, and of course, the Toshikoshi noodles. Toshikoshi, Koshikoshi. Takashi Kashi. <laughs> you gotta have Toshikoshi while the calendar's changing. But, I completely forgot to get Kagami. Kagami Mochi. I feel like I'm speaking a bunch of gibberish right now. Even if you don't eat it, that's important too, right? I was in the rush, okay? But I forget. I figure. My bad. I figure that I can't be the one who. Fuck, I can't even read no more. But I figure I can't be the one, the only one who did ring the New Year's bell, right? So, Amagi, no wait, you look like you know Narukami. Bitch, I was sick. Come on, man. Tell me, what are you supposed to put on top of the mochi? I don't know, an orange? Yeah, that's correct. Not just an orange, though. You've gotta be a bitter orange called the Dai Dai. Alright. That means several generations. Of course, it doesn't taste very good, but the symbolism of the thing is what matters here, you know? Kind of like roasted chestnuts, when people are like, eat that for the holidays, and it's like, it doesn't taste good, it's fucking garbage. Did you all get this? Don't make, don't make the same mistake I did when next year comes around. Cool. I'm a cool guy. I did a cool thing. They're practically like the same show, except Sakura is less, <laughs> is less useless in JJK. <laughs> Sakura is useless. Honestly, is there... To be fair, is there a female character in Naruto that's not useless? Because I feel like most of them are, which is really sad to say. Like, remember when they were going like, Oh, Tsunade's the best, and then she gets her ass kicked all the time? The only character that actually puts any work into anything, Rock Lee, never wins a fight. Unless it's a filler. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Neji was right from the beginning when he told Naruto, man, none of this shit matters. <laughs> none of this shit matters. Neji said, the caste system. That's the way we do it around here. Naruto's like, no, that's stupid. Mr. fucking Resurrection of Azura or whatever the fuck it is. Alright. So your links. Um... I think... Who the hell do I want to hang out with? Do I even have time to do this? I've been streaming for a while now. We've been streaming for like three and a half hours. Yeah, no. I definitely don't have time to continue this. Not, not for this stream anyways. So, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream, right? The schedule is up on uh, Twitch. If I do stream again before that, I will let you guys know via the YouTube community tab, which the YouTube link is right there, and uh, the Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, you get to see some crazy, not crazy shit, but you know, I, I, I say stuff here and there. Hot takes. <laughs> Can't wait to get canceled one of these days. <laughs> 
But yeah, that's going to be it for uh, this stream. Currently on the YouTube channel, I have put up the final episodes for um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge, that video game that was made by Capcom. So that playthrough has been completed as of yesterday. Um, and along with that, continuing with more of the Pokemon Marathon. So a new part of Pokemon Red and Blue has went up. And for the most part, uh, I think today is the last day I'm going to record Pokemon Red and Blue, honestly, because I'm pretty close to beating that game. And then after that, we're going to move on to the other Pokemon games, play a bunch of Pokemon games. And then I quickly regret it because I remember that Pokemon's an RPG series. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I did it to myself. I did it to myself. I did. But that's what's happening with YouTube right now. Um... I want to, I'm trying to think if I forgot something, something I, I wanted to say. Oh, actually, <clears throat> I'll probably put it up on a poll for like the YouTube community. If you check that out um, on what I'm going to stream after Persona 4, because we're getting close to the end of this. Right. And probably in like two, maybe three more streams, depending on how long I take. Right will be done so i'll probably put up on a poll on what to stream next because i have to finish um the uh first game in the ace attorney chronicles we stopped in the middle of that and i kind of don't want to leave that hanging and then there's also ratchet and clank rift apart which we left hanging too and then i know there's a bunch of other walkthroughs that i want to finish but walkthroughs not walkthroughs let's plays let's plays that i want to finish right or if um we should uh continue with sly cooper 3 because I, I uh, streamed part one of that, so there's that. I'll put up a poll. I'll put up a poll later today on the YouTube community tab for that. So we can look forward to that when we're done with Persona 4 Golden. And that's pretty much it for me. I don't think I got anything else going on right now. So, as always... For the people who came and watched live on Twitch, thank you very much. It's fun talking to people while I do this. Talking about some bullshit. Losing my train of thought. And just rambling about some bullshit. Right? Um. What else? If, uh, if you're not followed, and you want to, you can click the button there. If you want to subscribe, you can. I don't recommend it, because I only stream like two days a week, honestly, so... Until I become more regular with it, I wouldn't recommend subscribing, right? But if you want to follow, get some free emotes, you can do that. Uh, that's pretty much it for Twitch. As for YouTube, this is going to go up on YouTube like uh, real soon. I'm going to start putting up all the uh, Twitch archive stuff. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's the Twitter. There's the Twitter there. It was good meeting you. He'll be sure to come back. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, I also gotta put, again, I gotta remember, I gotta do a bunch of shit later today, but I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put Sushi up as, uh, one of the content creators for auto-hosting, because sometimes I just like lurking around, and I'll just play some shit in the background, sometimes I'll click on Sushi's videos, and I'm like, I'll do that, that's fine. So, congratulations to Sushi for that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, so, as always... I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.